Hello, what's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Friday. Very happy to be here for some FTL. I'm kicking things off with the Slug A here. Let me grab uh, some name suggestions for our from the chat here, and also going to rename our crew. Let's figure out where we're at on this list. I think I remember. Once we get our crew named here, I'll get called to find me in chat. Your wonderful support. Pick a ship name and uh, kick off our run. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. We are on defamatory. And JRH, here we go. What's up, Firewar? Good to see you, Kriya. Hobbs the Tiger, what's up, Protos 8? Gindy 225 Double Guns. It's good JD Saw. Opnul Armetheus. Great Rain. All the other cool early people. Gindy, thanks so much for 49 months. And Hobbs the Tiger, thanks for 137. I like the Silver Clover suggestion. That's a nice one. Nice. Alright, Slug is a pretty fun ship. It's pretty apt to getting crew kills as well. Not because it has just the anti-bio beam because of the breach one which is an exclusive weapon to the ship only i like this ship a lot let's head on in all right if you're new to ftls the roguelike game of space exploration it's our goal to work way through eight different sectors of randomly generated space on our way to a three-phase flagship fight uh along the way we will uh take jumps the lines within here are the rebel fleet pushing us towards the exit and beyond uh all the way to sector eight we fight that flagship all right let's uh load up some weapons and get it going uh, we also start with slug repair gel which automatically repairs hull breaches and sells for 25. it's a pretty nasty one i'm actually gonna go ahead and fire the breach missiles here too uh, i want to disable the entire system and the uh first two looks like it's gonna fire here Okay, well, that's not as bad as it could have been. Let's get the piloting repaired first here. Okay, we got fire in the O2 now. Fair. We should be getting out of here before the next, um... Ooh, the next flare, but this is also kind of messed up. Okay. Feeling better already. Gonna jump at the last possible second here. Yo, Gus King, thanks so much for 118 months. Wonko T saying 104. Cruising today. Thank you, everybody. All right, if the missile happens to hit our shields, this could be a really nasty fight. So I'm going to reserve the breach bomb here for if that happens. Okay, fair enough. All right, now we can kind of stabilize because we have the... Uh, missiles breached out on automated ships. They cannot repair breaches. So we're in a good position now. Let's get everybody uh, topped off, get our ship back full of O2, all that cool stuff. Also, hey, we're going to have a bunch of uh, new animated emotes here pretty soon. They're getting uh, worked on right now, which opened up a whole bunch of more slots, and they're, they're being filled as we speak. It's going to be awesome. Who doesn't want animated kidder emotes?
All right, distress here. I'm not really up for distress. I want to get the stores possibly. So let's make sure that's happening. Here's next. Ah, oh, we're going to be a hero and attack the pirate here. All right, so this ship has triple engineer as well as... Huh. A whole lot of problems here. So we're going to try to take down the first laser 2 to start. And then I might drop some breach bombs into O2 depending on how this goes. Okay, that's fine. Personally, I think we might be getting uh, just a uh, regular old crew kill here. I do one more breach. Okay, they swap rooms. That's good. So I think they're out of O2 now. There's a lot more missiles than I'd like to expend on a single fight, but uh, to that note, it's important we do so. That room's probably out of O2 now. Yeah, they're they're dead in the water here. Yo, Mr. Grizz, thanks so much for eight months. Appreciate that continuation. Thank you. I'm also going to save position here in weapons. Definitely, Wonko. It is better to spend the missiles to get something now. I agree. This ship had a mediocre weapon system. I would have used the anti-bio beam, but they had a very good one. We're fortunate to only take one damage on this fight. Sorry about that. Alright, cool. We got double reward there. Awesome. I would like to see this first store before I spin, but uh, buying two shields right now does put us in position to do some nice stuff. I think I'm just going to buy the two shields here. Saving for the store is also good, but this opens up the bio beam officially. All right, before the X, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, looking up here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, something like that. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, perfect time to have that two shield estimation. Now we can use the anti bio beam on these guys. No bed bay, no clone bay, no problem. It's actually not too scary even without the uh, two shields, but two shields makes it bulletproof. I got their regular reward. Still good, though. No store yet. Interesting. All right, I'm going to hop over here real quick just to check these jumps for a store. I'm hoping there's not one back here and we can get the uh, stores on the bottom side. But uh, I would rather I'd rather know for sure. All right, here's another one. We're totally safe.
Keep it cool, daddy -o. This is, uh, three of the four ships we've fought so far are automated. It's interesting. Okay, no store up here. That's pretty promising there's going to be multiple stores down here on this uh, thing. I think we missed one look on this side, but overall we're looking good. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that. I believe we're guaranteed a store in this bottom segment. Let's fight the ship here. Okay, no Med Bay, no Clone Bay. Depending on where this hack lands, could be a little annoying. Okay, it's a little annoying, but not the end of the world. They're still going to be able to fire out the anti-bio beam fast enough. In fact, hit all three. Beauty. Hacking has a 20 second cooldown and anti-bio beams only 16 seconds, so we get the full volley each time here. Hey, okay, happy Friday to you as well, Gizmo. Cheers. Hey, thanks for a little luck never hurts in FTL, that's for sure. Tough game. Alright, nice. Hmm. A little bit curious, no store scene so far. Sensor station, all right. That'll tell us what's up. Gonna work on taking out the drone here. Uh, once the drone goes down, we're totally safe. Could also try to cheese this for a little training, but this isn't like a totally safe situation, so... I'm gonna work at this. There we go. And yet another automated ship. that training going? Okay, we're halfway to the first half of training being complete. Cool. Alright, so let's see what's up here. Okay, so apparently we did miss a store over here. Fine. Looking like one, two, three, four. All right, 
right, let's attack the scum here. We got a safe fight. We got the ability to crew kill as well. Very nice. I think we go NG here. In fact, I'm sure we go NG here. NG is one of the best early crew. We're going to put the slug back on engines. We're going to put the NG on weapons. And we're going to grab a new name for our NG here, which is going to be... Machine Gun Contra. We're going to go MGC in this case. That's the one. Okay, it's store time. Hmm. Blast 2 is a little bit interesting, but I think I'd rather have other stuff. Let's probably buy spy back a battery here, and then we'll hope for our next door. Uh, fire beams also kind of interesting, but it really accomplishes the same effect as the uh, anti-bio beam. Slightly better in some ways, but uh, we don't have hacking or anything, so it's going to be hard to pull off fire beam. I think if my only goal was to win here, I should probably consider Ion Blast 2. But... I think just backup battery and saving is also fine. I guess we could sell slug repair gel and have both. It's not uh, not out of the question. Kind of the downside of Ion Blast 2 as well is that we have to um, we have to purchase weapons as well. So we're another 35 out from bringing that online, and then we're shy on power. Here's the uh, names list detail. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd rather not on Ion Blast 2. And I think I'm going to save my Slug Repair Gel because I don't have anything I'm trading for immediately. So uh, what's the what's the big upside to selling the Repair Gel right now? Not much. Another very valid option here would be to upgrade the weapons so we can have the dual laser anti -bio beam and breach online at the same time. I think seeing other store is more important. Wow, $26 human uh, is pretty tempting, but I'm not going to hire anybody. If I hadn't received the NG already, that'd be a little more tempting. Ah, definitely civvy sector here. Even though it has the double red next, uh, red sector three is not that scary. Okay, look at this sector. Okay, this has no connection. Hmm. So I think we're meant to do here is we're meant to make a beeline for this and then come back around this way so we can pick up all these nebulas. It's a pretty interesting sector. You usually don't see that many nebulas inside a civilian. So it's certainly within a normal range. It's uh, less than usual. Okay. So that's a little bit annoying, but sensor station.
Okay, shields getting hit is not ideal. Let's actually roll down here real quick. We're going to be able to fire before they fire again anyways. Please hit. Thank you. Okay, we're good now. There's no, no more damage coming out. Now it's simply a waiting game. Alright, sweet. Not going to commit the breach missile here, though it's likely the repair will happen um, in the duration remaining. Or not. All right, first jump sensor station is awesome because now we know. Now we know what's going on. All right, we're going to do a little bit of planning here because I think uh, pretty clearly uh, we want to make it back out to these jumps if possible. I think we're going to forfeit this store because we're not going to get this store and this store. We got to choose between. Yo, Tavi893, thanks for 74 months. Thank you, thank you. Hey, glad you can make the live show today, Slap Shop. Cheers. So, the question is, how many jumps to this jump? We got one, two, three, four, and a half. One, two, three. This would be four and a half. Okay, so maybe different plan now. I think our new plan is to try to make it to this jump. Which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away. Yep. All right, with that being the case, we got one, two, three, this nebula. This is four, four and a half, five and a half, six, six and a half. Two, three. Four, four and a half, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven. All right, that's going to leave us enough wiggle room to hit up these two. But that's the only way I get to include the store in the estimation. We can probably get more fights if I don't include the store. We could probably make it back to here or something. But uh, it seems a little bit dubious. No, no connecting jump is uh, a little awkward. All right, I'm gonna stick with that. One, two, three. This is four, four and a half, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven. Get a nice amount of scrap on our way to the store, and uh, hopefully get a weapon or something. Okay, they didn't want to sell to us, but they gave us scrap, so that's nice. Oh, okay. There's an additional option here where I get this jump, and I skip this one. So let's count one more time. Three, four, five, six. Seven before the exit, six before this one. Two, two and a half, three and a half, four, four and a half. Yeah, there's no connector. We should just take these jumps. We have to cut this section out of the, the map. Very grateful we got that map reveal because it really made the planning here a lot um, better. Okay. We'll see about that. Okay, it's going to be firebomb, maybe? Okay, doors are down. Let's shut the doors before that becomes a problem. I am a little bit curious uh, what level... Clone bay they have here. Even if the small bomb hits our shields, we're okay here. So we're just going to do a little bit of micro, uh, let them board us again. We're going to 
figure it out from there. Get a little repair training on the NG, I guess. All right, they're boarding with the Zoltan. Let's go in here. I think we can finish this guy off. Ooh. They are, uh, they're into hitting doors. Cool. How much health do we have? We have 43 and 54. That's enough to survive a small bomb. Okay, they have level 2 here. Uh, I guess with level 2 clone bay, I should probably breach bomb after this. Okay, so I'm going to wait enters the room before I breach here. How much health do you have? 28, he's dead. Okay, fire in that room. Let's vent it. And then we can just load up the anti-bio beam now. I was like, why can't I activate my battery? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's on fire. Yo, Red Hellion, thank you so much for seven months. Lucky seven indeed. Thank you. They have like a super high level O2 here. Is that what I'm seeing? Feels like it. Now he left the room now, so he's under 20 health. What that tells us. Well, that's not too bad. We got out of this for one breach bomb for the crew kill. Pretty solid. Yo, nice. Little hole repair is not insignificant. That's a repair we don't have to buy later. Events like that are a good reason we don't repair to full at stores. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy weapon power right now. We have three fights still to the store. I guess technically we might be able to include this one too. We'll look after this. So three or four fights before the store. That should leave us plenty to buy stuff. We even have slug repair gel and anti-bio beam uh, remaining. So by buying this, it gives us a, a much better combat estimation in some fights. All right, outpost is guaranteed um, reward here. Hell yeah. All right, let's just collapse on this crew and kill him. So far, so good, Hellion. Thank you. Right, I'm just going to go for it. Safe to say that didn't um, work out exactly how I wanted, but medbay complicates things. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four to this one. Looks like maybe I'm okay to include this jump too. Let's see. Got one, this is two. Two and a half, three and a half, four. This will be four and a half, this will be five. So if it's trading, um, we're trading this jump or this jump for this jump. This is an empty nebula. It looks like a good dive, but there's no connection here. So this should work out good. We got exactly four 
got one here because it's two nebulas. Two, three, three and a half, four. We make it back here. So we're going to get an additional three fights plus this jump before the store. Awesome. Ion Storm seems a bit tricky right now, but we do have a very cost effective weapon system and uh, backup battery, so we should be out pacing the ship that lives here. Okay, they have the black still online. It's a little bit rude. Hmm. No shields, though. It's fine. Gonna open here and just try to disable the weapons. Nice. Okay, that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and breach the O2 now as well. Okay, that's down as well. Since that's down, we can load up the anti-bio beam. It'll take just a moment. Okay, they got level two there. All right. Well, it costs a couple bombs, but there's no way that this guy is able to repair any of that. Not a chance. Yo, Dracarnius, thanks so much for 28 months. Thank you. All right, we did pick up a weapon there for our crew kill, though it's not um, a very relevant one in this situation. Breach one is uh, maybe not universally, but mostly better than, um, than Firebomb. It fires faster and has a more immediate effect. Still sells for 25. Enemy FTL charging. I'm not too pleased about that. Also, three lasers is a bit of a jerk. Yeah, I'm glad that I hit, because that basically makes us safe here. I'm gonna go for dual laser again. Okay, looking good. Two more sets of dual laser and we're out of here. Ships in this sector generally don't have very many uh, engines, so they're not going to get away super fast. So if we miss two volleys, we start getting very concerned. Uh, in addition, double fleet pursuit would be um, immensely devastating right now. So we're glad that didn't happen. to stabilize and we're going to jump away.
try and get to that station. Should be pretty safe as long as we take down um, the... Uh, maybe we hit the weapons here instead. We do. Not going to be doing like a full train here, but it's still something. Yo, Line Freeze, thanks for 15 months. Really appreciate that continuation. Thanks for that continued support. Yet another seg fall. Thanks for 60 months as well. That is five years. Thank you, thank you. Yo, Sidekick, thanks for 92 months. Appreciate that continuation as well. Thank you, thank you. Need to be on top of firing when this thing comes up. I mean, so if I fire right away, I get two shots at disabling it again. Whoa, all right then. Or we can blast their drone, that's a possibility. Drone is overall pretty quick training opportunity. I'm not big on training in FTL, but uh, this is a good good enough moment to sneak a little bit at least. Definitely doesn't have to be full training to be effective. Also, be much better if we had a shield guy, but we don't, and that's okay. Way on engines and piloting. Awesome. We'll definitely take additional evasion percentage. Yes, please. Ooh, that quad fire. Lucky we dodge one there. One drone definitely can hit through two shields. It's unlikely to happen, but it can. Basically, drones pick uh, a point to fire from after they fire their uh, projectile. And if they pick points that are very close to themselves, they can fire repeatedly. Though a triple fire is pretty rare like that, uh, let alone a quadruple, which we just saw. Yo, Salty Hype, thanks so much for 89 consecutive months. Thank you. This is going a lot better than I thought it would. Yo, Hessian, thanks for 94. Chill FTL and D. Glad you could be here.
I can also choose to sacrifice a breach bomb here to finish up. I don't think so. This is good enough. The breach bomb, if we don't find weapons, will be a very relevant uh, weapon for a hot minute now. How close are we? Yeah, only three dodges away from max two dodges. Why? Very nice. Nothing useful in the station. Store time. All right, cloaking, hacking, sensors, crew, automated reloader, slug repair gel cell. All right. Repair gel's out. There's no way I could afford both cloaking and hacking right now, and hacking's more important because it allows our somewhat weakened weapon system to function better. So I'd love to have both. All right, we're also about to jump into an ion storm here with no ship, and that means that it could be the manually search the wreckage event. I am going to go ahead and buy level two piloting, which is a little bit of a weird purchase, but it could save us or net us a crew here. Basically, in this empty ion jump, there is the possibility of a searching a wreckage event, which is a crew uh, chance to lose a crew, and having level two piloting negates that. Okay, we got the boarding event instead. It's fine. Okay, we got quad borders here. We're going to open the doors except for O2 and Med Bay here. Easy fix. Okay, I'll let these guys in. Then this is going to run out of O2 shortly. I'm actually going to close the door off here and turn off the O2 because I believe this is going to get vented out. Can always open this door and finish the venting if this gets a little too low. Hey, also, Wig, thanks so much for three months. Appreciate that continuation, dude. And thank you. All right, orders handled. Let's let our O2 fix up here. Yo, grab and fear. Thanks for that 24 as well. Thank you for those amazing support today. Really appreciate it. Thank you all for all your subscriptions and all the other ways you guys support this content, keeping us full time and no frills in our 12th year here on the site. No pop ups, alerts, or sponsored gameplay. Appreciate this continued opportunity. Thank you so much. Yo, so get mold a new name here, which is Antelope Thirteen. Good one. Yo, Ahmed, thanks for forty six months. Thank you. Okay, we got Med Bay and we got Teleporter here. How are we going to fix this up? 
There's definitely a way. Can I do it with just the anti-bio beam and dual laser is a question. I don't think so. I think we're going to need to use at least one breach bomb here. I got a plan. So they're going to board with a uh, Mantis first. Okay, we're going to vent here. I'm going to run up to the uh, doors. So I'm going to kill this Mantis, and then I'm going to create a situation where the... Um, engineer is repairing something that's not the O2, and their Mantis is repairing O2. Alright, so for starters, I'd like to get the unit off of... Uh, I'd like to get the unit off of piloting, so let's go ahead and start with a dual laser hit here. Okay. okay they have level 2 medbay. That does complicate things. And level 202. Wow. Okay. Is he going into piloting? He is. Okay, this is fine then, because uh, the... Uh, Mantis is going to really suck at getting the repair done here. Well, actually, I should hold on, I think. Oh, interesting. Okay, so... Yeah, this is fine. We'll do the exact same thing here. When he goes to run to the med bay, we will anti-bio beam him. He's already going? Hmm. I think what's going to happen here is with level 2 medbay, he's going to heal back to full, and he's going to go back for the repair. Maybe. This is tricky. Okay, so we got one repair done. And we got him. That'd take an educated guess at the HP remaining. We got out for one breach bomb, so that's excellent. So the exit will be an anti or no anti ship battery because it's a nebula, but I don't think taking an empty nebula jump is worth that. That fight in that dive ship. Let's just cleanly get out of this sector. Rock controlled or rebel controlled? Hmm. Well, rebel controlled is probably only one store. Uh, but rock controlled is definitely more difficult to get crew kills on. I think we'll go rock controlled here. Rock Control Sector 3 is, uh, well, not chill, but it's not the worst. Okay, we do have a good dive connector here. Nice. So we might be diving in this sector. Uh, I think we're definitely safe to check out the store and possibly sell off the firebomb. Uh, firebomb is uh, unlikely to be useful. Yeah, okay, okay. We're going to pick up Chain Laser here. Chain Laser is not my preferred weapon, but it does give more projectiles to our system and uh, improves improves our estimation. Uh, basically here for me, uh, Bokter Drog, Fire Beam and Anti-Bio Beam serve the same purpose, and there's also some overlap with the Breach Bomb too, so um, unlikely to go Fire, fire Beam here. Fire Beam most uh, commonly gets included in setups that already have a very nice offensive kit because then you can flex in the Fire Beam. Not that there aren't other uses for it, but there's too much overlap here to justify 50 scrap purchase. 
in short, we already have ways to get crew kills. All right, intruders on board, big missile weapon, asteroid field. This is pretty gross. Okay. This is most certainly going to be a hack. It's probably going to be on weapons. Okay, double border there. This is... Uh, manageable. Should wait to fire the breach here. Okay, with that, let's get these guys to the bed bay real quick. Let's run to the piloting. We're going to make the piloting in time here. We are. Okay, not... It's not a good spot for that. Fortunately, if I hit this again, it's going to be okay. I missed. Okay, fine. I think we have to hack again before the fact. Yes. Okay, let's get this fixed up now. Okay, good. So I think with the O2 being out of this room and then having to run back and forth, uh, we should be able to anti-bio beam here. A little tricky, but yeah. Could also choose to breach the O2 here. Let's start with the dual laser hit. And I need at least the battery back. Okay, so they're trying to leave the room now. It's very interesting. Okay, so they got the breach repaired. It's a matter of how many more resources I want to throw at this fight. Yo, Bull Vander Hughes, thanks for 112 months. Thank you, Achmed. Thanks for 46 earlier as well. Cheers. I guess battery's almost back up here. Let's just let's just load in the chain laser. Uh, I'm gonna not go for a crew kill here. Unless. <laughs> okay, he died. Okay, very interestingly here, I can um, I can let them through the door and then relock it. So I think actually getting a crew kill here is now manageable. Let's get back to our stations. Yeah, this is going to be a crew kill. Alright, so I need to hit the O2 here. What? I did that. Hmm. I guess, I guess one more breach missile to get it done is not the worst concession. Okay, he's trying to leave the room here. What? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go anti-bio beam real quick. I think there might be a situation here where I can maybe get a crew kill. If this room runs out of O2, then we're probably all right with that. It also maybe just pepper this guy down. It's not uh, out of the question. 
Okay, he got the breach repaired. I see that. Alright, so what I'd like here is I'd like him to go back into the uh, the weapons. I'm going to try to anti-bio beam and then hit him with lasers for the finish here. Check out this room. As we got 42 remaining. Alright, so we can anti-bio beam right here. That's it. That was a little bit convoluted, but it got there. to stabilize and we're going to jump away. I kind of want to hit this distress to check out these gems for the possible store and I think I will. Otherwise we're not going to see this top section. Okay I can help you out because I have an engineer here. High scrap reward for nothing. We like that. Let's go one, two. Well, no, I'm going to go down here first. All right, we're going to pick option number one here, which is a guaranteed crew fight. Okay, only two crew... Oof, they do have missile launcher again. Okay, we only need one shield for this fight. Definitely gonna use a hacking part though, because I'd rather not eat this missile, which will happen if I don't. Not out of the question to get disabled here with no breach missile. There it is. I do this without using a breach missile. I think since they have medbay, it's unlikely. So let's start with the breach right now. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to hit the O2 here. Okay, it's down. The important part of this is that the room is now going to be devoid of oxygen. It's okay that the O2 gets repaired here because we're not going to break back out the door in time. That's actually a pretty decent offer. I'm going to take that. Five fuel, six missiles, 14 scrap. That is a lot of stuff that we could currently use. Yo, ain't no profit. Thanks so much for 80 months. Appreciate that. 8-0. Thanks so much. Am 
No med bay, no clone bay here. They do have two shields, though. Attack the scum. We're certainly interested in getting a crew kill here. It's a matter of how we achieve that. I think this fight's definitely okay not to use a hacking part. Though maybe it doesn't hurt because using a hacking part would uh, let us lock down the O2 in a better way. It is true also that this ship can hit us, so maybe maybe hacking weapons is um, desirable. Okay, they got level 202. Okay, good. Now we're safe-ish. I'm going to breach here, actually. And then when he breaks down the door, I'm going to hit him with the lasers. They have level 302. Whoa. It's game over for them. Hey there, Coda PDX. Thanks for one hundred and eight. Months. Two more for a decade. Thank you. Worked out pretty good. Definitely some comfort here in having 18 missiles still. Ooh. All right, we're going to diversify our crew portfolio the rest of the way by taking Rockman here. And that's going to be Zephyr Knot. What are we doing on shields here? I'm actually going to move the rock down to shields and put the mantis on doors. Nice to have something that's a little more fireproof down on this side of the map. Man, no store yet. Should probably just buy two power bars here. Though the thought of potentially getting... Potentially getting cloaking here is quite enticing. Okay, we know we're going to be diving this sector, so we can delay that. How do we reveal the rest of the jumps here? We got one, two, three, four, five before this one. So we can go 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, not quite. Try this again. One, two, three, four, five. Here, dive. Okay. Sounds good. Since we know we're diving, we're going to include the exit in our padding. I will give you requested five missiles, even though I really like my missiles. That probably wasn't worth it. But scrap. Ooh, double missile launcher burst two? Excuse me? Excuse me? This fight's making the level two hacking look primo. There's one down. I need that repaired. Oh, man. Missile launchers are back. Okay, well, in a, a good note, it's like there's only a maximum amount of damage they can do here. And it's not that high of a maximum. Okay. Weapons are down. Okay, now we can lock them in here individually. Which should uh, result in a crew kill. Mm. I don't know if we're finishing this guy off without another breach, but... Definitely make that work. Why is he trying to leave the room now? Oh, he made it out? Son of a gun. Way more missiles than we would have liked to use, but we got the crew kill. Yo, Sir Raymond, thanks so much for 92 months. Eight more for that 100 club. Thank you. Yo. So these two are the only places left a store could be for us. Let's buy one power bar here. Actually, with the anti bio unit cell, let's buy two now. So we're actually at a normalized amount of power. That last fight could have been a lot worse. All right, cloaking. Is that a flak two? Cloaking flak two. Yikes. Also, though, they only had two crew here, so a uh, crew kill with anti-bio beam is not unreasonable. First priority needs to be disabling the... the weapons, though. So we'll start there. Ouch. Okay, one more. That's fair. Um, maybe no crew kill here. Maybe a little bit dependent on where the fires start and their ship. Okay, they're leaving the room because fires. I'm going to try to do an O2 hit here. I don't think that's unreasonable.
I'm going to not use any more missiles here. The fact of the matter is that crew kill is going to take a long time here uh, if we go about it that way. So let's just let's just take down the shields and finish them off. All right, unless unless. In there. It's a pretty crappy weapon, but it sells. Okay. What's wrong? Rock should pay the agreed upon price. Hey, we got reactor upgrade there. Nice. Could have been five hole damage, would have been a little concerning in our whole situation. What's your specialty? O2 for scrap. Okay. No store. Hmm. Okay, well. We do not need to use a hacking part here, though I do want to hit their weapons first. So I'm going to hit weapons, and I'm going to hit shields, and then I'm going to uh, switch to the bio beam. Yoinks. Is there fire on board? Is that what I'm hearing? Where? Okay, so in here somewhere. That keeps us safe for now. Oh, I think a fire started in the weapons room for him. That's cool. Very helpful. Some mystery fire in here too. No? Okay, we're good. Yo, Chetafine, thanks so much for 100 months. Appreciate that triple digits. Thank you so much. So there just wasn't a store here. That's fair. Um, let's go for... 
Level 2 hacking, 2 engines, and level 2 backup battery. Alright. Pretty nasty ship. I'm going to start my hack after this fires. That's the plan. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm a little tempted to breach missile here. No, I think accepting one volley is fine. We'll see where this lands. If this uh, ASB lands in our shields, could be uh, mega devastating. Hey, but it missed. Yikes, dude. NG Homeworlds, NG Controlled. Hmm. Well, I like that the control doesn't lock us in here, but NG Homeworlds could be uh, an easy full repair of our ship. Tip top. Should be a good amount of store here as well. We gotta get some scrap to make it work though. Ooh, we got the virus event. Okay, so number three will get us a fully trained and everything engineer, which is pretty nice. Um, improved hacking does give a nice scrap reward too, but it takes a hacking part. So I'm gonna take the three option here. Wow. This is um, somewhat serious. They definitely have enough ion to take down our shielding, too. I don't remember on the virus event if you get a bonus for killing crew or not. I think I'm going to be shield hacking here. Uh, it'll be a difficult hack to land, but not impossible. Might have been too late. Turning off. Oh, man. That's tough. Okay, let's do it again. Fine for now. Yeah, I don't think there's anything extra for crew kill here. I agree with that. Okay, the defense two went down. I'm gonna try to hit shields here before it comes back online. Never mind. Hmm. Not super amused with that. Do I just hit shields here? No. Hmm. 
Oof. There we go. We got three hits there. Awesome. Okay, feeling a little better now. Nice. Okay, they had value point and shields too. Good to know. Tough fight. Alright, Virus was MGC. Here we go. This is it right here. All right, so one of these quest markers is the real quest marker, and one of them is a fakey bakey quest marker. And then when we reach it, it's going to give us an additional quest marker, which will fully repair our vessel. So that's cool. Um, I have chain ion anti bio beam to sell. That's probably worth hitting both these stores. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and say that is true. Because getting another weapon here is kind of the uh, priority. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe not these weapons, though. Pike Beam, uh, Pike Beam could work here with uh, Shield Hack. Let's see, Chain Ion's out, Anti Bio Beam's out. Pike Beam probably needs to be in here. And I prefer not to repair because we're getting that big repair after the quest. So if we can survive till then, that'd be nice. Let's risk it for a biscuit here. Also, weapon power is 50. That could be a very important purchase here soon. Beam weapon. Boom. Free stuff. So a big part of me wants to delay getting these quest markers till the last possible moment because delaying getting the quest markers here means we will not get locked into uh, having to do this quest the sector and being locked out of it essentially. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight before this jump. Uh, we have one, two, three, four before this jump. So I could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, something like that. That seems pretty good. Now let's take these in the store. What's your specialty? Piloting for 40? No way, dude. That's crazy. Alright. Free stuff. Love it. Must be NG Sector. All right, what do, what do? All right, they got cloaking and mind control, though we're not uh, available to buy that. Mind control is um, very interesting with the breach. It can open up some crew kill potential, but I think more relevant right now is just fixing up the ship, buying some fuel. Well, not completely fixing, but partially. Let's buy two repair here. Then let's buy uh, weapon power, power bar. So at least I can now have a pike beam and four lasers. That's that's a system. All right, so both the ships on the quest are going to be trying to run away, so it's imperative that we get them defeated in time. Yeah. Going to require a hacking part here. For sure. So if we manage to get pike beams swiping through the ship, we are essentially in the clear. Gonna hack shields here to that 
goal. A little bit late on mine there. Piloting hit for two is not awesome. Demand information on the stolen technology. Okay, this is the trick. We're going to ignore an attack here. Okay, so they got four rooms that are hit right now, so they're not going to be able to get onto their piloting. So that means that this quest marker is the uh, is the event. It's really likely it gets pushed into the next sector here. Let's make sure that's true. We've got one, two, three, four before this. We're gonna go one, two, one, two, three, four. By delaying this jump to the last possible moment, we pretty much guarantee that the NG Homeworld quest event is going to get pushed into the next sector, which is where we want it. Alright, excuse me for just a moment here. Just going to stand and stretch real quick, use the restroom, and then we will uh, continue this run. All right, we have returned. Thanks for your patience there during that short break. Sheep of the Night, thanks so much for that five gift sub package. Really appreciate your generosity. Thank you. All right, as we talked about uh, before that short break, we're going to be delaying this quest jump to the last possible moment. We're going to one, two, three, four, and then take this jump before the uh, dive exit. Uh, definitely sketchy here because we're a little bit weakened in defense, but if we survive this and make it to the full repair NG home row quest event, uh, I really got to believe we're going to be in a good spot. 
Hmm. Yeah. That's a lot of laser, and that's a missile. So do I hack weapons here and hope we get a decent hit on the weapons with our volley, or do I hack shields and go for maximum weapon devastation? Tough one. Definitely worried about taking too much damage on this fight, so I think maybe weapons hack is the the way. Uh, it's requiring three of our four lasers to hit. That's a bit much. It's a bit much. I guess it has to be shield hack. Okay, it's only a Lado, that's good. And we dodged that, that was really lucky. Anti-ship beam drone too. Awesome. Ooh, and there's a store here. That is very cool, man. All right. Well, that makes me happy to see. Anti-ship beam drone sells for uh, 37 or 32. One of those. I'm gonna reject that offer. Okay, they got beam drone flak. Oh, it's a bit of a yikes, too. And hacking is coming out. Let's see where their hacking lands before we make a choice here. Hacking lands on engine. Feels like this needs to be a shield hack as well. Wow, that was really fortunate. Better lucky than good, man. I'll take that one. All right, quest. So the quest is going to be a ship that's trying to run. So probably very similar uh, situation. Uh, is a little bit tempting to maybe uh, upgrade weapons here to bring the breach back in uh, to the system. But on that same note, we're if we get the quest finished here, which we should. Um, actually, do we have to let them go in order to get the quest beacon? I don't remember. Oh, either way, we have a store coming up, so let's uh, let's save. All right, enemy FTL charging, indeed. Okay, they only have four crews, so we can get the pretty easy disable. I'm actually gonna hack their weapons here. I think. Yeah, it's a pretty nasty system, actually. The only bad thing we have here is we completely whiff with our weapons, which I don't believe we will. Oh, we whiff with the weapons. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghettis.
Okay, if this next one doesn't hit, we're in trouble. Okay, we're good. Good-ish. Good for them not getting away. Okay, so we did have to let them go to finish the quest. That's fine. Store time. Oh boy. Well, we're only going to buy one of the two, and I think the one of the two is going to be flak. Thinking maybe pike beams out now, because flak chain dual laser breach is pretty uh, pretty effective. Not the fastest, but it's uh, it's adequate. And again, would love to buy this cloaking, but it just hasn't been in the in the books here. I'm sure I'm buying flak. I guess there is the option of doing this, but um, you know, really right now. It's like, maybe this is the system we're going for. We drop the breach. I like the idea of seven projectiles. Yeah, exactly. We can potentially not use, um, potentially not use hacking parts with this setup. I think I'm going to sell Pike Beam here and then bring the uh, Breach Bomb into this build. Go seven projectiles Breach Bomb. Still leaves this hacking option, but... Pretty much if we're going to use a projectile setup, the Pike Beam is always going to be lagging behind the, uh, the lasers anyways. So I guess the dream here is to replace the chain or something. Uh, I think this is uh, reasonable to get set up right now. Uh, next question is, how much do I actually want to repair here, knowing I'm getting a full repair up to 25, I think, at the NG Homeworld Quest event? Mm -hmm. I do think bringing this online is the most important thing we can do right now. We're still on our good power assessment. Can't afford a drum part. Let's just buy... Let's buy no repairs here. Let's just risk it for the biscuit. I think we're going to make our event here next sector. Hopefully it's near the entrance. Alright, that was nice of him. Thanks, guys. All right, this could be a lot worse. We're going to hack weapons. Okay, they boarded a pretty decent room for us.
That's actually fantastic. Let's go here. Miss on the ASB again makes me happy. They're going to shoot four lasers here, but it's too late. Mantis controlled. All right. Mantis control can be scary, but can also potentially net some crew kill rewards with this breach bomb. All right. We're only three jumps away from the quest, but it looks to me like if we hit the quest right now, it's going to be a disaster on the front of getting enough jumps in this sector. So, that's tough. Yo, four wheel gator, thanks for 60 months. Appreciate that five years, man. Thank you. Boy, that's a toughie. I think going to the left, up and around, back down to the store, into the quest, is probably best. Um, but... Yeah, there is a play where we go down here, and then grab the quest, and then come back up. Maybe that's a, even a little bit better. Yo, good day, Relic Killer. What's happening, man? If I'm going to opt for that route. Damn, this is a tough choice. Yo, nice really color. Congrats on finishing that last achievement in Isaac. There's a lot of them in that game. Tough one, too. I'm just I'm really concerned about dying here if I if I don't hit up the store soon. So I think maybe I'll uh, do something in between. Take these two, then the store, and then we'll weave back this way. Uh, let's take two jumps before the store and then possibly repair. Yo, rest gash, thanks for 28 months. Enjoy that lurk partner. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. I'd really prefer not to hack here because I only have two parts. But we got a store coming up and that's what we need to do. Can't afford to be taking missile hits right now.
Ooh, fire in there? Since we're in a solar flare, it is unlikely we're going to get a crew kill. Those fortunate happenings. It's not impossible to get a crew kill here, though. It's true. Okay, we're in red hole right now. Let's just uh, let's just let this stabilize. Now right, we're gonna aid the civilian ship. Okay, they only have three lasers, and they're on an off timing, so this ship should be safe to not use a hacking part on. Who's almost dead? You are. Okay, we did hit there, good. Right in the weapons. It's gonna be a two, two bomb. Let's go ahead and put the chain laser up front. There we go. Cheesy rice, man. They're no longer going to board my ship. Uh, Starfleet, that's a very interesting question. Um, it does kind of. The location of the weapon on ships influences how fast the projectiles reach the target location. So the way projectile firing works in FTL is even though the ships are in a static location, you can assume the ships are kind of circling each other kind of like, um, uh, you know, three-dimensional or four-dimensional space battle. Um, so when you fire out the projectiles in the front if they're closer, will reach the target shields faster, but the location of the projectiles is kind of randomizing the shield, so maybe we fire the flak, which is in front first, and we fire the laser behind, but you can see the distance between the firing locations for the weapons isn't actually that different, so if the laser comes in from this location and the flak comes in from this location, they'd be about the same. Just muted myself there, sorry. In short, the, the weapon location doesn't matter that much, but the projectiles being further up on the ship can make them arrive slightly faster.
Hey, little repair there. Okay. Does this allow me to delay my quest a bit? It does. Makes me feel a lot better delaying the quest. Okay. It is fair to say here that charge laser improves the system. Is it improving enough to delay getting our four, third shield online? I don't know about that. You know, just outright selling chain uh, laser for charge laser uh, does have some advantages. Uh, how much does the chain laser sell for again? 32. So we technically only be paying 18 scrap for the charge laser, which does allow us to fire at a much better timing. The other option would be dropping the breach here and hoping to get an all laser set up. I think I like the idea of selling the chain laser here. So chain laser starts at 16 seconds then goes to 12 seconds, then goes to 7 seconds, where the charge laser is a flat 12 seconds for firing, so it's in line with the rest of our lasers. Okay. Now, how many jumps to the exit? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 before the exit. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, exit, boom, here, dive. Yeah, let's work towards getting this quest marker in. I don't mind a distress here either, but it is manus controlled, so distress can be some bad stuff too. Okay, anti-personnel drone, we take those. I'm going to try to save for cloaking here, too, which is a little bit dubious, but, you know, here we are. All right. Um, I'm going to try to breach the weapons here. I do not want to use a hacking part if I can avoid it. That was nice, that missed. Okay, good. With a breach in the weapons, they will no longer auto-repair. So all I gotta do is uh, tap the weapons again, and we should be set up for success. Alright, we're good now. Hey there, Archmage Thrawn. What's good? Du, du, du. Boom, bam, blammo. You're dead ski. Yes, thank you, Daisy Do the Cat, for bringing us Dilly Pickle the Stuffed Armadillo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Intruder on board. Let's uh, offer up for bounty here. Okay, we got 50 scrap for five hole damage. Actually, a perfect time for that because we're about to jump into a full hole repair event. Ooh, that's, um, tempting. All right, so I could go one, two, three, four, and still make five, six for the dive. I think I will, because right now getting, um, some hacking parts and potentially cloaking is very desirable. 
cloaking would be quite transformative for this run. Let's go for the old dive here. I never like giving up a jump on the map, but uh, I know that getting systems here is the best thing we can do. Okay, awesome. Gonna buy these two drone parts. All right, so this quest is going to be a fight into a massive repair. Wow, it's a super weak ship, too. Okay, if I'm remembering correctly, which I think I am, I don't believe there's any point in getting a crew kill here. It's all the same reward style. Though getting a crew kill here is not out of the question with the current uh, setup. Not at all. Hey there, six Pete under. Good to see ya. I just want to teleport back here. Oh, they got it. They got it. They can do it. They must have had level 3 teleporter there. Boom. A satisfactory delivery tech will assist in Federation cause. Gratitude alone insufficient. Commencing ship repair and compensation. The crews deliver an advanced augmentation for installation, but you're more pleased to hear that the Federation will have an improved arsenal. 20 hull points repaired. All right, so in this sector, we got full repaired for free, and we got cloaking. That's uh, that's a big up. Sweet. We still got some stabilizing to do here, but that definitely helps. Okay, outpost is a guaranteed double reward here. Okay, they got one, two, three, four, five. So we'd have to do five damage to weapons here in order to uh, guarantee a weapon disable. I don't know about this. Let's see what happens. And fortunately, it's an Artemis missile, which is a uh, two damage missile. And to that point, I am going to use a hacking part. Oh, it's still not down. Hot dog, dude. That's tough. That's tough. Okay, they're going to cloak again, and by the time they fire the missile launcher, I should be able to cloak one more time. Maybe. Yeah, right before it reaches the shields. Perfect. I'm going to wait for my hacking here, because waiting for my hacking means that I take the missile launcher down for sure. Okay, we're good now. That fight actually could have been quite devastating as far as hull goes, so we made some good choices. All 
I'm gonna buy two power bars right now. I'm definitely behind on power. Maybe one more engine here before the dive. Let's see what these two hold. Okay. If this was not a solar flare, I would strongly consider crew kill here. But it is. Also, uh, not all that strong of a ship. That's great. Yo, Toclair, thanks for 20 months. Good afternoon to you. Hope you're having a great one, dude. Thanks, man. If I scrap, don't mind if I do. Hopefully a jump where we can upgrade here. Do I want three shields or five engines? So five engines sounds better before the dive, but three shields is... um. Definitely a soothing effect. We're also behind on getting three shields, so I'd like to do that now. Dude, real deal, if I did miss your 75 months earlier, my apologies. For usual, if I ever am late to or miss your notification, I do sincerely apologize. I have a terrible case of humanitis, it is true. Well, I know I can cloak the ASB and uh, this at the same time. Not convinced on the missile launcher. I'm going to go ahead and fire out a breach at the weapons and see what happens, because it's definitely possible that the missile launcher goes down here. Yeah, nice. That is uh, very good. Okay, so it wasn't it wasn't actually the timing we wanted. It was a um, there's a there's a variance in when the ASB fires, and we almost got a bad result there or a damaging result. Rebel stronghold NG control, dang dude, that's a tough one. So NG control is cool because it has up to three stores, and we're still missing mind control. Rebel Stronghold is cool because it can have the mini flagship event, which would be <laughs> quite good. I still think NG Control is probably more desirable right now than Rebel Stronghold, uh, just because we're not, like, set up all that well. This build's very medium. Yo, PC Air Cloud, thanks so much for that Prime subscription. I'm glad you're enjoying the content enough to even consider that. Thank you so much. As I often say, subscription is the best way to support this content. Thank you so much for your consideration.
All right, immediate store right now. Do we have anything to sell? The answer is yes. We have titanium system casing, which is a 40 scrap augmentation. Wow, this sector is awkward. Looks to me like uh, heading up here and then swinging back down uh, to this side is going to be our most effective strategy for receiving jumps. So let's go here and then we'll wait to the last possible moment to cut back to the bottom side. But getting one or two scrap results here before the store be uh, desirable. Uh, we'd like to at least be able to afford mind control. Let the O2 situation fix itself here. Okay. Okay, let's look. So I can only go one, two, three. I guess that is fair. Okay, they're shutting down engines here. I feel like with the crew that they're showing, if I don't have hacking myself, this fight's a little bit awkward. So I'm gonna go for a shield hack weapon slam. That's the plan. If we counter hack here, we don't have access to our own hacking system. That's just how it works. Oh, cool, they're boarding with the NG. Oh, I was late on my hack. Fair enough. All right, if I would have uh, hacked at the correct timing, that wouldn't have happened. I'll admit. Okay, they had value point and weapons there. There's definitely a world here where I can get a crew kill with breach bombs. I think if that was going to happen, though, I need to do, commit to that much sooner than I did. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. How much health we got here? 16? Oh, that's tough. We still got it, though. Nah. All right. Fair enough. Bit of hindsight in that fight. Overall, pretty well handled, though. In range for mind control if it exists. It does not. Uh, heavy laser 2 is a bit of a monster. I think a bit of an extension for us right now. Let's just sell the titanium system casing. Let's go up to 10 fuel here. Let's buy three drone parts and then we'll start upgrading our ship starting with two power here. One power here. All right, cool. We're at a normalized amount of power now. Let's be a hero and attack the pirate. 
Okay, they have a lot of ions plus a heavy laser, so we'll be careful here. I feel like this fight is manageable without uh, hacking, though. Seems like it should be. Yeah, I might be taking that back. Yeah, all right, all right. Didn't want to hack weapons, but our cloaking is not going to be back up in time, and our shields are just hammered here. Just how it is. There we go. Now we're cooking. Sir. Not nearly enough. All right, store guy. Hmm. I really like Breach Missile for its disruptive capabilities, but Heavy Laser right now is consistent and does not require a missile resource. Also, it gets loaded in right now, so our in-game weapon system is complete. We can worry about finding mind control and just upgrading the ship for the next sector and a half. Whole beam sells for 35, so that was a um, 55 scrap for free event. Cool. Or fuel for one drone part. I wish I had that fuel. Okay. How many jumps to this jump right here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. Oh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I gotta go one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, die. All right, cloaking and a sun beacon. That's a bit tough. Gonna hack uh, piloting here. Piloting hack or engine hack uh, gives us a guaranteed disable of the weapon system. Well, guaranteed disable of the missile launcher, nonetheless. Rum bum bum. Okay, we got fire in O2 and in the med bay. Let's send the NG to O2. Let's send these guys to med bay. They're going to cloak again here. That happened. I 
Yeah, four shields can definitely be nice to have, but a little bit a little bit tough to pull off on most hard mode runs. I'd say right now, three hacking would provide about the same layer of safety as, uh, as four shields would, with four shields being slightly better. Okay, cool. The store. Yo, Soup Rock, thanks for 46 months. Much appreciation. Well, the system I want here is my control. It just hasn't appeared yet. We do have the uh, back end of this sector and the entire next sector to go to try to discover that. I'm going to buy three hacking now and a power bar. Okay, we're just going to accept the offer of surrender here. That's the best policy in energy sectors. Let's get a free medium scrap reward. That was a very low roll for medium, but free nonetheless. All right, for starters here, let's see how let's see how our weapon volley performs. Why did I fire at Clone Bay instead of weapons? Humanitis, that's right. I remember now. Oh, hey, that's, uh, that's interesting. That could definitely result in a crew kill. Looks like they have level 302. Fire and shielding now as well. Interesting. No crew kill here. They still have enough hole left. Worth thinking about. Search for the ship. Lucky, no hole damage or double fleet pursuit there. Double fleet pursuit would have been kind of nasty. Bounty time. Okay, five hole damage. We did get 51 hole scrap there. That's a lot. Actually in range to buy four shields right now if we wanted. I think six engines probably more pertinent. Huh. I'm kind of torn here. Let's get to six engines. And then we'll wait. Six engines lets us run from a ship. It's enough to disable and do that, though. No, I need, I need two power bars here as well. Let's just go for it. One power bar also would have been acceptable. Aboard the station, man. Uh, save the NG. Oni, the fully trained weapons NG. Awesome. You get over there. I'm going to have uh, this guy be roaming or maybe on shields here. Let's put him on shields. 
Tony is going to be uh, Robotic Crow. Fitting name. MGC is trained in all systems because it got him off the virus event. So then we now have a full trained shield bubble, which is a very nice feature to have. Okay, no, no uh, teleporting. That's a big note. I am going to go ahead and hack weapons here. I don't technically have to, but the Flak 1, Heavy Laser 2 um, combination could damage us here. And level 3 hack will just sort us out. All right, engine controlled final sector. That's pretty desirable. Does give us a very good chance of finding the uh, mind control system. There will be three stores available here. I'm gonna hit a distress. We got all the good stuff for distresses right now. I'll shield you. All right, store. Uh, it could take more jumps before the store, but my gut's telling me the only thing that's a functional per purchase right now is going to be mind control. So if we have more than 75 scrap, we might as well go for it. No mind control. Okay. Honestly, defense drone isn't terrible either, but... Uh, let's go ahead and buy the fuel here. Also going to repair up to 20. Uh, we get a 10 hole repair at the end of this sector, so let's not push it too far. I can help you out. I got an engineer. Boom. High scrap reward for nothing. Yeah, okay. There is a store back here. Got one, two, three, four, five, six before the exit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, there is dive potential back here, but uh, well, we'll think about this. Store right now, though. I want to give myself every chance to get my control here. There, there it is. Am sure. Shield charge booster is tempting, but saving for four shields seems nicer. So if we're going to dive here, we gain two jumps after going to the exit. So I think it actually makes more sense to go back this way and then dive. We get one one extra jump. I also just choose not to dive this sector, which is a, a very valid option. Yeah, since we have to give up a jump anyways, let's just not dive. So one, two, three, four, five... Five, six, whatever. Also going to buy uh, two fuel here. Almost certainly don't need to buy that fuel, but it makes it a certainty that we will not have any issues at the end of the sector fuel-wise. Then we get 10 fuel to start a sector eight. And tours? No, I'm good. We didn't have mind control. That door purchase uh, looks a lot better. Great time to have a uh, level three shield hack.
Nah. I mean, it looks nice, but we don't actually need the fuel. I'm gonna ignore the fueling platform. All right, storage cache, let's go. Counter mine control, activate. Just drop a hacking part here on piloting two, make it simple. Keep it simple, keep it cool. That's how we stay alive. to the last day. It's been a pretty hard-fought run here so far. We're only a couple scrap away from four shields. I think that's our best upgrade right now, so I'm going to save up for that. What's good, Imtala? So our goal here is a little bit different than the other sectors. We have to reach and defend the base before the flagship spends three turns there. It takes the flagship two turns to move. We're just going to march towards the base here and hope for the best. Alright, a little bit nasty. Shield hack or pilot hack here? I actually think we go shield hack on this one. Yes, we do. Okay, that big missile launcher going down is, um, <laughs> nice. Fortunate, even. Nice, that's great. Okay, our repair station got overtaken. Unfortunate, but definitely fair. Okay, we did manage to get uh, four shields here. At least we didn't have damage we were relying on being repaired there. I'm gonna scrap the debris here. Okay, little missile launcher is a problem. I also have combat two here. Dang, man. So we're going to go for a weapon hack in this situation so we can alternate hack and cloak and get away if we need to. I guess they only have three in weapons here, so hacking piloting does guarantee our first volley disables the weapons as well, which is good enough. Okay, let's go for the pilot hack, then. It's going to be a very tricky one to stop here.
Then when they actually start repairing in this room, I will mind control. Actually, no. I'm going to mind control right now. Okay, this is back online, but so is my cloaking. And my hacking. Yo, Dr. Pineapple Boy, thanks for 122 months. Really appreciate that continuation. Thanks so much. All right, we now have enough for our systems by value cloaking here. And I'm going to take one more jump before the base, hoping it's a scrap and then get value mind control, which would set us up for success. Prepare to fight the rebel ship. You know what? I think that a hacking part here is not necessary and actually be very beneficial to reserve that. We're going to jump in here, and then we can always jump back to the base. But before we do, uh, I'm just going to stand up stretch real quick. Going to use the restroom, grab some water. Encourage you to do the same. Also, during our short break here, uh, got kitters ready for treat time. Be back in just a couple minutes for some more fun. Please do enjoy the kitters uh, while we get a, a quick snack here already prepared. Thanks to my lovely wife. Be right back.
all righty we have returned thanks for your patience during that brief intermission all right, we're gonna head into flagship fight phase one right now i got 72 scrap to spend what do i spend on here i'm gonna buy that mind control and i guess we buy additional power bar Yo, Ryoku, thanks for 128 months. A half bite indeed. Thank you. We're going to jump into the flagship here. All right, phase one has uh, hacking and cloaking, which is a little bit complicated, but not necessarily uh, bad. With the limited amount of lasers we have, we should probably hack shields here. Let's see where their hack lands first. Okay, hey, their hack landed on our cloaking, which is not optimal, but is also not the end of the world. So the other option you have here would be uh, hacking uh, weapons, the missile launcher specifically, and then um, alternating hack and cloak to be basically invulnerable, but not truly invulnerable. Okay, mind control here. That was a nice volley. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That's good stuff right there. Okay, a couple more deaths there too, amazing. Okay, that was great. And a triple miss. Uh, that went as good as it possibly could have. Alright, want to fight phase two at the base, and since we did not intercept phase one at the base, we can just jump into it. We fight at the base phase two, so that on phase three we can jump into it, leaving the base the safe jump back. You'll notice that beacons are being overtaken as jumps happen here. So we want to see where leave ourselves the best possible option on phase three which is the most complicated phase uh, phase two is also very dangerous but not overly complicated same basic plan and execution here okay let's load up uh level 202 let's open the doors let's defend our shield room from the boarding drone Yo, Walfader, welcome to the Dapper. Thank you so much for making it official. Really appreciate that sub. Thanks so much for that support. Twitchy47, thanks for 15 months as well. Thank you. Said it before, I'll say it again. Subscription is the best way to support this content. Thank you so much, Walfader, for making it official. As these missiles are arriving, I'm going to cloak level 2. I think with this I can outweigh the drone phase. It appears to be the truth. Okay, drone phase is out now. Uh, let's go 2, 3, 4 into the missile launcher. I also try to pick off some more crew here, but disabling the missile launcher essentially ensures that we're going to have no issue with, uh, with taking damage. Good. Well, phase one, phase two went awesome.
All right, phase three has boarding, mind control, and a 12 power Zoltan super shield. So a pretty, a lot of things to overcome here. Uh, luckily, we've killed off a lot of crew already. So our main burden should just be the boarding and mind control. Uh, since we left ourselves a safe jump back to the base here, we're going to be able to kidnap the crew if things go wrong. Uh, I'd say phase three, in my experience, is the most likely to have a catastrophic failure. So we leave ourselves the safe jump as the base um, by setting it up this way. Though I'm not anticipating a lot of problems with boarding because we have counter mind control and they have very limited crew remaining. Any fires? No fires. Good. Pretty good timing on the cloak. We should have that back in time. Looking was back in time, that's nice. GG. That was a very hard front run. Nice one, though. Let's say score there is like low 5,000s. Like, so still a pretty good score, but... Uh, we were missing a considerable amount of upgrades. Let's say 50, 51, 22 is my guess. Let's see here. 52-42. There we go. Low 5,000s. 39 ships defeated. 98 beacons explored. 1,700 scrap collected. Pretty low on all of those. Very nice. All right, I'm going to do another run of uh, FTL today. I'd like to do a boarding style ship. Let's do Mantis A. Feel free to add some name suggestions for this fine vessel. I'm going to grab some names for our crew off the forever name and game list here. Starting with Trevis. Then we got Mr. Pebble. And we got Wintakis. Fable Dreamer. All right, Rock Lobster it is. All right, here we go. All right, so here we are back in Sector 1. This time we're a boarding-style vessel, the Mantis A. Mantis A is uh, pretty sweet. It does have some pretty major disadvantages, though, and a th only three-slot weapon system and a somewhat weakened start. Uh, however, boarding is a very powerful asset to have in FTL, so we do have opportunities to um, succeed. I'm going to head to the bottom here. I think we got more wiggle room. I think if I take this top right, I'm actually going to lose out in the store here. Seems not unlikely. Okay.
All right, so we're going to board into the engine room, and I'm going to roll the engineer down to shields. That will um, solidify this timing not being bad for us. I'm probably going to board with a third Mantis here in a moment. Eventually, these weapons will time out together, but for the moment, not so much. Get him, got him, good. 21 scraps, nice. One, two, three. I want to get as many jumps as I can before this exit, before the store, rather. Excuse me. Okay, sensor station hacking weapons here. This is um, tough because in order to kill this ship, we have to do some stuff. Oh, this does not look too terrifying. Yeah, the damage potential here is quite low. I'm going to start with a small bomb to shields. Okay, well, if there was going to be one, that'd be the one. They do have value point sh shields, too. That makes it a little tougher. So we're hoping that the uh, small one doesn't hit our shields here. Oh, my God. Stop it. At this rate, they're going to repair the shields. I got to be... Very wary he doesn't get hit again because he'll die. Be wary of fires here as well. Hit. Good. In my experience, a lot of playing this ship is managing the early game well. If you can do that, you're generally set up for success, and if you can't, well, it gets rough real quick. The engine hack here is actually a little bit harrowing because it can lock the uh, crew out of certain areas of the ship. It's hard to repair other sections. Okay, fair enough. Gonna be one of those fights then. I would actually rate the stealth ships uh, easier to start with than Manus A. Maybe not Stealth B, but Stealth uh, Stealth A and C for sure have stronger starts. Okay, double fire there. We're just going to vent this out. Good. Yo, Norab99, thanks for 116 months of support. Thank you. All right, well, that lets us know what's up. And there's actually a whole bunch of scrap down here. Damn. Ion Storm Asteroid Field... Now let's fix up our ship and then we'll think about that. The thing is, the store is pretty important.
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go, uh, one, two. Ooh, this might not be available. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that. I do want to see the store, though. We have the Manus Pheromones to sell for 25, so acquiring, uh, a weapon here is definitely possible. All right, no matter what I do, uh, this is going to combo and hit us. So let's just get over into the engines right away. Engineer and rock. Now on the second firing of their weapons, this will be disjointed enough not to be a problem. Yo, Burr, thanks so much for 86 months in that prime continuation. Thank you, thank you. Well, Heavy Laser 1 is like a weapon that, <laughs> it's not super awesome in the early game, but it is a weapon that can let us kill stuff without bombs, so it's probably worth picking up. Since we only have a three slot weapon system, the usefulness of Heavy Laser is diminished because it will unlikely be able to fit into a later system. But if we are able to upgrade our shields and then get, you know, basic laser, heavy laser for right now, it's still a tool. It allows some non-bomb kills. We're probably also just going one, two, three, four here. Double ion storm though is uh the temptation. I only get five fights this way, or five potential fights. Huh. I think I'm actually meant to pass this heavy laser. I'm going to buy two shields right now, and then just buy the weapon power to have small bomb basic laser. If this had more than one projectile, I'd be all about it. But it does not. Buy two shields now for a layer of safety. I'm gonna head down here. We're gonna take some risks in these ion storms. I will give you three fuel. Ooh, ion bomb, okay. It's a little, a little annoying, but fine. Without two shields, this would be so devastating. Actually, hold on a second here. Let's bomb this first. This beam two asteroid field is a problem waiting to happen.
All right, so buying level two of piloting here, if we weren't to ask me if it would be an option, I don't think I would here. All right, intruders on board, that's great. Okay, they're in my shield room. Sounds like three crew. The important part there is we gain scrap from the event. If it was the manually search the wreckage event, I would definitely take the 25% chance at crew loss in order to uh, fish for a weapon or another crew. Uh, it is scary in the early game. This this ship can afford a crew loss a lot more readily than some others. It's going to be a ship fight inside the uh, Ion Storm. Hopefully not automated. Unautomated. Beautiful. All right. The ship has teleporter and it has med bay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to allow them to board us first. Anytime you're inside of a Ion Storm and you have a situation where it's stable defensively, you want to try to not disrupt enemy systems. I can also get this kill without using a a bomb. A uh, bomb makes it easier, but we got this. Okay, step one, we're gonna board with the uh, two manas. Since we're in sector one, it's gonna be guaranteed to be a two crew ship. And we're hitting with the old Benny Hill theme here. We're just gonna run around in circles until we can board with the second set of crew into the med bay and then we'll fight. Again, we want to not disrupt power until the last possible moment, because they will bring that bomb online uh, when that happens. Boom, get roasted. Okay, we're going to be here and attack the pirate. It's going to be a very slow fight, but we have two shields, so it's safe. We're going to do a very similar effect here. We board and then we reboard. Um, to stop the medbay. Good job, basic laser. What kind of crew we got going on over here? We got a human and... Mantis, all right. Well, Mantis is definitely a scary one.
Level two medbay again. Wow. Surprised, man. Ooh, a store here as well. Amazing. Okay, well, we're definitely buying hacking here. And then it's just a matter if we're selling the Ion Bomb or not. I don't think so. I think there is probably a moment where the Ion Bomb could be okay. And... What am I going to buy with the scrap I sell the Ion Bomb for? Like, maybe... Maybe I buy a power bar. That's about it. Well, really nice Sector 1 so far. One fuel for four missiles, yes. Because Small Bomb is still a very valued resource right now. Both Rock Controlled and Civvy Sector have their upsides, but I'm going to take Civilian Sector here. All right, got the old sequester start here. Only one jump to go to into one jump we have to go to. Attack the pirate. Well... I maybe should use a... Hacking part here. It's almost guaranteed we take damage if I don't. But it's only a couple damage. It's not that dangerous. I'm going to save my hacking part here. Uh, I'm also going to roll the engineer down to engines because if we dodge either of the lasers, we're technically safe. And then we'll board into, uh, let's say, O2 here. Let's see what kind of crews they got. Rock and human. That means if we swap back here, we can have the small bomb land, guaranteed. Okay, good. Now we're safe. So it was definitely worth two damage. Always tough to trade damage for uh, not using a hacking part, but it's very often correct. It's a lot of events that can heal us here, and uh, we're at a very limited amount of hacking parts available right now. Okay, nice double reward as well. Beauty. All right, store. Not the store we want, but definitely the store we deserve. Okay, let's just buy uh, long-range scanners here. The so long-range scanners give us information on uh, future jumps. Unfortunate that we're not going to be able to get the second store here in the civilian sector, but uh, the long-range scanner pickup is pretty huge. Let's try to, by the end of the sector, have enough power to power our hacking and also have brought on the basic laser here. Uh, Hannah, thanks so much for 77 months. Enjoy your continued lurk. Aid the civilian ship. Let's go.
Engineer and human. Easy. Alright, stun bomb. All of the bombs. We got stun bomb, small bomb, ion bomb. I mean, actually, that makes going to the store kind of worthwhile, because I can sell off Stun Bomb and Ion Bomb to potentially buy a weapon. What I don't like about going back to the store now is it means that we're getting uh, two more jumps here that are non-fights when we see a fight here, which will likely branch into more. Dang, that's a tough estimation to make. Yo, B. Joe, thanks for 26, and L. Super Pro, thanks so much for 33. Lurk away. Speaking of lurkers, let's do our lurker roll call for today's stream. If you're lurking in the channel, I mean you're an active watcher, but not an active chatter. You have the capability to, and you want to. Now's your time to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Just thank you all for your silent contribution. You're all beautiful and amazing. Nobody uh, gets carried by lurkers more than me. Appreciate you all very much. There they are. What's up, Hellion, Darklight, Digital? Good to see you, Squanchy. Marluxier, to Commissar, Six Pete. What's up, CJ Turtle? Rabbit, Salvoco. What's up, Rodigo, Archmage, Thrawn, Robo, Curious, Ataraxis, Link, McCloud. Hey there, Octopup, Uvanes. Nurtual. What's up, Wolfman, Deburs, Endural, Imtala, Line Freeze, Walfader. Is Mozilla? It's good. Full Metal, Jersey, Pinball Box, Zihana, Lysnish, The Halcyon Fury, Mutastic, Chopper, Pie is Good For Ya, Brandlore, Good Alpha, Mike, Foxtrot, Xer, Stan the Pirate, Sykes, Tricky Knight, what's up, Nate, three and 3 there's Steam, 1993, Ain't No Profit, Casually Challenged, Major Tom, Xer, thanks for 16 months, dude, what's up, Phoenix Fire, Edison, Caleb, Steam Okim, J Rod, and all the other beautiful lurkers. Appreciate you all very much. Thanks uh, for spending some time here today. Yo, Alpha Mike Foxtrot, thanks for four months as well. Awesome. I'm legitimately torn here. Like, getting a weapon would be very valuable with hacking. You know, okay, let's go to the store, because uh, if we find, like, Halberd Beam here, that we can win the game off of just hacking Halberd Beam. That would give us a full out. Okay, so we didn't get everything we wanted. Fine. I'm going to sell the stun bomb. Uh, I'm going to purchase backup battery here. That's like cheaper than usual power for us. And I'm going to hold on to ion bomb. I'm going to hold on to ion bomb until I have something to sell. Or I can sell it for something else I want. Or we're just sure we're not going to use it. Made the civilian ship. Alright, they can't damage us. Just let them board first here to simplify this fight. It'll take slightly longer, but be uh, good. Oops, all dead. Ooh, double reward civvies. I like these guys. One, two, three, four, five before the exit here. We can take the top route or the bottom route. The bottom route has more bifurcations, so there's more of a chance of us finding fights. So we'll head down instead. Okay, I accept. Hmm. 
That's actually a little tempting. Unless there's a bunch of fights off this jump, I'm probably going for it. Manus War Camp? Oh yeah, dude, no problem, man. Okay, so we don't do the Manus War Camp because it has uh, some significant downside that there may not even be an event here. Or this one, I think, is more guaranteed. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Asteroid field coming up is a little bit scary, but we now have the tools to do that. Asteroid field's a lot more scary before we had the second weapon power. Okay, it is a non... automated ship fight. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna... Uh, Temporary power into the teleporter. We're going to teleport right away into engines. I'm going to hack weapons to try to stop this missile launcher from hitting us. I think especially in the early game trading, one drone part to avoid missile damage is a good call. Okay, good. Yes, I see that you hurt me real bad. I see that. Our excision was extremely justified by this being an Artemis missile. Yo, Mefo, thanks for that tier 2 43 months. Glad you feel that way, man. Cheers. Thanks for keeping it awesome. Gonna go for the sensor station here. I just want the reward from this fight. This will require uh, one small bomb to get started. This is where buying the second weapon power is very helpful. Okay, nice. We hit right away, and shields went all the way down. That's beautiful. You love to see it. Wow, we got almost 30 missiles right now? That's amazing. So sometimes, and we're not out of the situation yet on Mantis uh, A, you end up getting to Sector like 4, you don't have much weapons, and the additional um, missile resource becomes very important. So some, some fights you got to spam out, you know, 6, 7, 8 missiles in order to, uh, to win. Doesn't happen very often, but it is definitely assuring to have those extra missiles.
All right, scrap received. Got quest marker coming up. Let's check it out. Okay. You find severely damaged ship floating amongst the debris. The crew hails you. I can't believe that cheap bastard sent someone after us. Thought we'd freeze to death. You could help us complete our delivery. We'll share the reward and join your crew. Yeah, sure. All right, what's up, Turing? Turing's going to be the new pilot now. Let's go like this. Turing's also going to get a new name here from our forever naming game list. That's so going to be Psyduck. Nice one. Attack him before he can attack. That's how we do. It's unlikely the ship hits us. They'd have to hit with a consecutive three hit ion plus the rest here. So we should be. Oh, it's only a two crewer. I see that. Double NG as well. Yeah, I'm not going to be using a hacking part here. That's fine. Also, not going to use a small bomb because I don't need to. Okay. Pirate controlled our uncharted nebula, so we do have long range scanners for the nebula. Though, as a downside, the Nebula has more automated uh, ship fights, and also... Well, that's really it. Only one store, probably. Could be two. Yeah, we'll take Nebula here. Ooh, okay, so if we're going to take this quest, we got to do it now. And I will. Um, lock on with the teleporter. Boom, scoops. All right, great. Let's rename here. It is Melody Bunny. All right, it's good, good. Defense drone mark two for free, okay. <sighs> All right. The engineers on engines because it's the most centralized location on this ship. And we're very weak on repairs. I'm gonna buy... Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna buy the... Level 2 here. I kind of want to buy a weapon power and a couple power bars. But the second I see a store, I'm gonna regret that. I think I can still make it over here. How about we compromise and buy two power bars here? That looks good. Now we can back up battery into our, our deficit. Okay, kind of nasty here. This is definitely a weapon hack situation. Is this actually Ion Bomb? Hmm. Yeah, it is for now. Okay, good. The correct weapon went down there. Swap back to basic laser now.
since the weapons are hacked, it'll take a very, very long time for them to repair. Not much concern here. Interesting. Okay, so yes, we can make it through the rest of these and will. That's some scrap coming in too, so I should consider just buying some stuff. Uh, savings good here too, so we can like cloaking, that'd be nice. Hmm. I'm gonna buy this other weapon power, so in a dire situation, I can have Ion Bomb on line two. Now we're gonna start saving for weapons and cloaking and things. That won't be a next time. Open fire. Hmm. That's tough. I think the play here is to hack Med Bay and board right away. Well, after they board, I board, that is. Make it back? That's tough. Alright, so we're gonna let him in now. That'll do it. Surprised he made it back there, though. It had to be a level 2 teleporter. Had to be. Okay, enemy FTL charging means we're going to go for our Ion Bomb here. Okay, they can't damage us at current, so what is my best route forward here? Boy, that's kind of a toughie. It's minimum two, two bombs to the shields in order to take out the uh, thing. I think we need, what we need to do here is we need to hack... They're piloting. Level three. Oh my god. It's a double toughie. Okay, so this is the type of fight where we're going to need to use a lot of bombs, and that's all right.
If I deal three damage here, we should be all right. That was less bombs than I imagined, but holding on to the ion bomb paid off huge here. Probably saved us five, maybe six bombs. Just being able to disable that way. Nice. Also, if this guy gets away, it's a bit of a disaster, so... Fortunate. Yo, Cheesy Bob, thanks for 111 months. Appreciate that. Yeah, I'm going to wait for this to repair. Didn't need to hack, but I did. Got him. Ooh, that's going to be an attack here. All right, so this ship has level two doors, which is not... Huh. Not a small deal. We're going to need to hack weapons here to start. And then we're going to board weapons as well. Oh, I depowered that. Okay, fair. Or did I? No, it's still going out. Uh, let's let the Zoltan out of the room. For now. Get set up over here. I think this is only going to be a recruiter. Is that right? Yeah, it looks like it. That's what I was hoping would happen. Dreams do come true. Concerning no store yet. All right, there's a store. Is there any downside to taking it first here? I don't think so. We got defense two to sell. Okay, let's take one more fight before the store. One, two, three, four, exit. Maybe up here. That might be available. Attack the ship. All right, so we got a clone bay. Two lasers, missile launcher. Let's begin like this. We should not need to hack here. And we should also not need to use a bomb, though I should strongly consider using a bomb anyways, just to simplify the fight. Let's begin by boarding engines, and then we'll roll these guys over to the med bay. Teleporter, rather. Can we pull the guy off the piloting here? I we can. Hmm. See where this bomb landed. It landed in shields. Okay, well, if it lands in shields, then I definitely am going to small bomb the uh, 
Flambe. Get this repaired here. Yeah, this is kind of gnarly. I'm going to send out a weapon hack just to stop this from happening. You're fine? Miss again? Unreal. Wow, perfect timing there. Okay, chain verse laser is a weapon that fires lasers. Store time. Oh, wow. Cloaking is here. Dang, dude. Really tough decisions coming up here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, sell defense too. And now that we have another weapon, I think that Ion Bomb is sellable. I believe I'm buying cloaking, and I think we'll pass on the chain burst laser. It's only three lasers, but still, it's enough to function for the moment. And uh, cloaking greatly improves our defensive estimation. Final slot, yes. Let's buy out this fuel as well. And we'll call that our system. Okay. Okay. Now we can worry about recovering defensively a little bit. Starting with two power bars right now, or one power bar. Okay. A fact about this ship in our current setup is that most fights will only require a small bomb, where chain laser basic laser is uh, a flex option. Alright, Ion Storm time. Repugnant, arm the weapons. You can't just go around space calling people repugnant, dude. Okay, that's cool. Nice spot for him to board. Let's board into the uh, piloting now. It's only a two crew ship. There's probably a situation here where we should cloak. Uh, yeah, they're they're low enough now I'm going to cloak before the missile launcher fires. This way we're going to dodge it with the timing rather than dodge it with the uh, evasion chance. Why do we feel so low power? Oh yeah, because our power is halved right now. That'd be why. Long ray scanners, boom. Okay, we got a clone base situation here. It's going to be a three crew ship as well. 
They have uh, anti-personnel drones, so I strongly doubt that they have four crew here, or have an anti-personnel to be a fourth crew. Let's just board into the engines here. Yeah, oh, they do have anti-personnel drone. Okay, that complicates things a little bit, but not too much. Oh, I think for starters, I'm going to try to small bomb the uh, weapons, and then we'll come back for the Colombe. Great. Actually, do I even care about this? Don't think I do. I think I can get away without using a small bomb here is the point I'm I'm arriving at. Yeah, I can. All right, we're going to put a high health unit in the shield room, and then we're going to move these two over to Clone Bay. Now in the unit clones, is going to run to the shields instead. Okay, there we go. Get him and got him good. Yo, Pinata Frenzy, thanks for 84 months. That is seven years of support. Seven years. Thank you. It's a pretty cool sector. I think our nebula choice was definitely justified. Gotta be civvies here. Uh, well, abandoned sector four isn't actually that terrifying. We cannot board a no O2 ships, which is going to be the majority there. Yoinks, badoinks. All right, we're going to go store, I guess, and then up here and maybe back to this one. Uh, targeting priority is based on the room they're in, so the unit being the shield room was the what they were attacking us, not the amount of health. Okay, I will still make this, though, so that's fine. Yeah, let's just buy fuel at the next door if we're going to. Hey, Order of Sky, thanks for 29 months. Much appreciation. Thank you. All right, if I disable one of the two weapons, we're safe here. And then we have a 16 seconds plus... 12 seconds to fire the bomb. So I'm going to try to first here small bomb the weapons. And then we'll go from there. Man, I should probably just hack on this fight. Hmm. I also do the no bomb option and go chain laser basic laser hack. No, I think we're gonna do it this way. I'm gonna small bomb the weapon, small bomb the shield, swap to chain laser basic laser after the fact. All 
Okay, that's not great. Yo, Tynus Forsaken, thanks for 99 months. Thanks, dude. Alright, piloting hack it is. Holy crap, he almost died. Yo, Tyus Forsaken, thanks for 99 months. One more for that 100 club. Thank you. Kelva Shalgram, thanks for 38 months as well. Thank you. Too kind today, everybody. Too kind. Oh, man, really? Yeah, okay. Well, I can't reach both, so I'm going to go here and then come back around to these. 97 scraps, not a ton for a store. We've already purchased cloaking, so we're really just looking for a weapon here. I think uh, Halberd Beam would be tops. Okay, these are also uh, good options. Black especially. Okay, well, flax a uh, definite. I think right now I seem to go like this. It's not what I want to do, but I, I got to hold on to the chain laser just in case we don't find something else. Yo, Decon Rossi EU, thanks for 31 months. Thank you so much for that continuation. Just thank you all for that amazing sub support today. Just, uh, very much appreciated. Great to be here in our 12th year and no frills to boot, no pop ups, alerts, or sponsored gameplay. An amazing opportunity that is. A one of a kind experience here on the site, really. Truly, I am one of the lucky ones. Just thank you for that amazing support. Couldn't do it without you. Alright, I'm going to buy the three here. Fuel, that is. 
Yeah, it pains me a little bit not to buy that. But we're just going to upgrade the weapons control next, get small bomb loaded in here with the flak basic laser, and then we'll uh, come back around for the um, chain laser. I guess the other option here would be selling a chain laser and basic laser to pick up flak heavy and then uh, go for small bomb. Uh, Amp Sam, getting three shields by Sector 5 is generally uh, a decent rule to follow, but there are definitely exceptions, and uh, like cloaking changed that evaluation a lot, too. If we could have three shields by leaving this sector, I'd be very happy. Yeah, okay, I've, I've talked myself into this. We're going to sell the uh, chain laser here and the basic laser. And we're going to buy Heavy Laser. And upgrade weapons next. But yeah, three shields by Sector 5 is the general rule. But you can certainly get around with less. Yo-ho, Line Freeze. Thank you for that amazingly generous five gift sub package. All recipients, please enjoy the Emos community and ad-free view. And happy to have you. Ever the odd one. Thanks for 43 as well. Thank you. Manually search. Okay, Melody Bunny's gone, but we got some rewards here. Losing the shield is hurts, but we had the crew to give up. Losing the engineer would be the painful loss uh, in that situation. You did good, Melody Bunny. You did good. You searched it. You even got some scrap back on board. We appreciate that. Storage cache. Let's go. Okay, it's beam drone. Two lasers. Uh... All right, I'm going to roll the engineer down to shields here. I'm going to cloak the first volley. If we can hit weapons, we're good. And if we cloak this first volley, I think we're fine not using a part. These weapons are two seconds apart, so now they're four seconds apart, which makes it increasingly unlikely they're going to time out in such a way that the beam drone is going to uh, hit us. And especially not now. Yo, Dumpster Gravy, what a name, what a player. Thanks for 122 months. Thank you, thank you. One twenty-two. What a number. All right, y'all. After uh, this fight, our ads are about to play. It's going to stand a stretch real quick. Use the restroom. If those ads play, I do appreciate it. It does support a lot. If not, totally understand. Regardless, we'll be back in a couple minutes after this fight concludes. Able to buy weapon power after this fight. Nice. Ooh. Sells well. All right, be back in just a couple minutes here for some more FTL action Mantis A.
All right, we have returned. Thanks so much for your patience during that brief one. All right, where are we at on this run? Let's reacclimate ourselves. Uh, we just finished this fight. We were going to buy weapon power. Oh, during the break, Hanzor, thanks for 16 months, and Beckador, thanks for an awesome 60. Appreciate that five years. Thank you all for that amazing amount of subs, resubs, and gifts today. Grateful for it all. Forever grateful. Okay, weapon power, power bar. That'll do. Okay, we're gonna attack the ship here. Okay, the ship has medbay and teleporter, and it also has a missile launcher here. It's a little bit tough. So it's unlikely that we're able to hit with the uh, black heavy laser at base. So we're we're either choosing to use a hacking part here, or maybe not. Okay, here's how we do it without using a hacking part. We're going to cloak the first missile launch, and we're going to fire out our small underneath. If it doesn't work, then I'll hack piloting and flak heavy laser the weapons to finish it off. And for the moment, let's collapse on the border here. Make sure they die. Still a 1 in 4 chance we get hit. It's not exactly safe, huh? Okay, I saw a Mantis on board. This won't be too bad. Let's go ahead and board over into the shield. It's going to pull the unit off of piloting here. They no longer have a pilot. So now when they try to go to the med bay, I am going to uh, flak heavy laser it. Level three med bay. Okay. I don't disagree. Got him. Tricky, but good. We already had manually search the wreckage in this sector, so this is not going to be manually search the wreckage. Or was that last sector? I don't remember. <laughs> sketchy is as sketchy does. We're going for it. Alright, pretty nasty weapon set up here. Nasty enough to justify a hacking part usage? I think the answer to that is yes. Feeling better already? Okay, that's my mistiming. I accept. Ooh. 
Well, nothing useful on the station, but plus 27 scrap is useful. Prepare to fight. Okay, fire drone, burst laser 2, missile launcher. That's a bit of a yikes, because we have no dodge. We can use cloaking and hacking to make this completely safe, and I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Something I'm a little bit worried about here uh, is if I damage weapons, are they going to pull up another drone? I think that's unlikely, because we're only in Sector uh, 3 here. Or are we in Sector 4 right now? And either way, it's unlikely because they have a 3 power drone here, and they have at least 3, maybe 4 in weapons. Or 3 in weapons. So... I can hack piloting, cloak to set up the timing and then fire our weapons where they can fire. And that's exactly what we're going to do, because we can't, we don't have evasion to roll our cloak against, so we want to uh, cloak now to make sure that our timing is better than theirs. They can't charge their weapons while we're cloaked, so we will fire uh, in time. Okay, they did, in fact, bring out a drone. We hit it. Hmm. I got 27 bombs, and I'm going to use one to make sure we're safe. Okay, I'm going to hit the drones here. Yeah, there's where all their power is at. It's inside of their... their shielding. Six power and shields. Okay, definitely best to dive here, because there's no anti-ship battery inside the nebula. Okay, we are in Sector 4 as well. It does make getting three shields uh, quite desirable. We're just a little bit behind on everything right now. Except for systems. Hmm. All right, so how many to this jump? One, two, three, four, five, not a half. So one, this would be two, three, four, five. Yeah, that all works out really nice. Sorry for that uh, lid slamming shut. Me dang. So not impossible for there to be a store back here. Even though I'm going to go uh, three engines power bar at the moment. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm going to do this, though. Upgraded reactor by one. I am concerned about running out of fuel. Maybe I shouldn't have given that up. I don't know. I'm gonna go for it here. There's nothing wrong with waiting uh, when we're out of fuel. We have a little bit of space here to work with. Okay, two fights at the end makes me uh, hopeful that we're gonna be able to pull this out. Oh, hell yeah. And two drum parts is a lot right now, but it fixes the exact problem I currently have. Okay, six fuel for 12 scrap. We're officially sorted. 
in three fights on the back end of the sector here is amazing. Intervene and defend the outpost. Let's go. Wow, not only is an outpost guaranteed double reward, it's also a ship here in Sector 4 that can't damage us with two shields. Wow. Might it be my Birthmas? Might be. Shields might actually be the better hit. Depends on what level their shield is. Okay, there we go. Great. 17 and 28. We're at 100 scrap right now. Wow. I am super tempted to just pick a th three shields right now. You know what? I'm going to do it. I can definitely imagine a ship here in Sector 4 and Sector 5 where not having three shields uh, puts us in a majorly dangerous place. All right, they're shutting down engines here. So our cloak will be severely diminished. We only have three ourselves. I'm going to keep this alive. Good, that hit. Okay, they're hitting my weapons right now, which is actually quite bad. Let's move the flak up front. Hmm. Let's see who's in here. NG's good. NG human? Alright. Okay, before this missile arrives and possibly hits us, let's jump into the next fight. Alright, that's fine. No teleporting happening here. Also shieldless. Nice. At the moment, life is good. the next purchase we should make here is two hacking. That'll kind of round us out. Can also try to avoid that to get a potential better store look. Mm. Yo, MK man, thanks so much for 
14 months. Appreciate that continuation. Thanks for subbing again with Prime. I think the current weapon system does just about as good with one hacking as two, because we're hacking piloting almost always. So I'm going to try to save to replace the small bomb with a functioning laser weapon or something. Dang. All right, let's cloak the first volley and just fire out here. Where are they? They're in my doors. My thinking here is if I just disable one of the three weapons, we're well, not totally safe, but safe enough. Okay, cool. So we're going to get a kill here as well, which is surprising but fair. Hacking room. Collapse on him. Would much rather Manus controlled. Manus do have some very scary ships that they can generate, but even with that, I think it's still better here. I'm gonna avoid this solar flare. Let's just go around the side of that. Demand a surrender of their good. Enemy FTL charging as well. Dang, dude. Okay. What's our kill condition without them getting away? Well, I think for starters, we're going to hack the... Um, is that a shield overcharger or a defense drone? Shield overcharger. Oh, man, that's actually kind of nasty. Well, for starters, we need to do this. Okay, only one. That's good. Okay, let's take out the shield overcharger. Awesome. Sick.
Ooh, fire beam. Fire beam definitely has some overlap on what we're doing, but it's interesting to think about nonetheless. If I had a four slot in this weapon system, I would absolutely use fire beam right now. You know, I'm going to avoid both of the sun beacons here. Sun beacons inside of the Manus events can just be pretty bad. There's uh, in every Manus uh, sector, I believe there's a sun event with a plus boarding. And if we get like a four Manus boarding plus uh, borders on the enemy ship, that can be very disadvantageous. Okay. Well, I'm certainly going to take this string of fights. Still doing great on the bomb resource right now. Need the civilian ship. Okay, this ship has uh, level 3 doors, which makes me kind of not want to board it. Missile launcher going down is nice. It's great too. Oh, I'm leaning more towards boarding now. Okay, they did clone there, unfortunately. They're gonna reboard now. Into O2. Level 3 clone bay. All right. All right, we're boarding now. It's going to be one mana left in here. And okay, they made a hasty retreat. No surprise. Get that two hacking power bar and then we go back to savings mode. Yo, Death Diesel, thanks for 103 months. Appreciate you. Alright, so I'm going to cloak early here, and my goal is to actually kill off the boarding crew with this cloak. That happened. This chain ion can eventually take down our shield, but it takes like two or three more firings. So we're just going to try to hit weapons and hit bed bay. Actually, a very effective way to actually hit weapons here would just be to board and get them off of the piloting. This is a four cruise ship, not five. There we go. And then when they try to run to med bay, I'm going to hit them here. You essentially create bonus HP by waiting to fire till they go to the med bay. And I we missed. Okay, fair enough. Great. 
Great time for a small ball. the civilian ship. Alright, another boarding ship. This is Manus Bomber, though. Fortunately, no bombs on the Manus Bomber. That's nice. Huh. Almost certainly should hack here, but... What if we didn't? Thank you, Daisy Doo, for bringing us Longuini. Thank you. Huh. Let's see where the second set of borders boards in. Okay, they went in engines, which is a lot more uh, sustainable for getting a kill here. They also boarded with their only engineer here. They made it back? Sons of guns. Okay, well... I'm going to hack here. Forty four health. OK. Okay, there's fires in that room. That means the engineer bailed on that repair. That was nice. Hey there, Johnson unit. Good to see you, dude. to be over the halfway line, but I'm not convinced. This one's definitely over the line. We got one, two, three, four, five. So you go one, two, three, four, five, and then go six, seven. Ooh, it does not connect there. Yikes. One, two, three, four, and maybe five, six, then. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one can be six. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, here, exit. That's the route. We're getting three jumps before the store here, and I should be pretty open with using resources before then. Maybe hitting the store now is not the worst idea I've ever had either. We have 161. What are we going to buy at the store? Uh, our subsystems are filled, so it's really only weapons. In that case, there's no need to delay going to the store. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, 
Ooh, actually, no. With the store being here, it makes the most sense to have this be four. We'll go one, two, three, four. This is the only jump available here in the fourth rung. So if we do that, we just skip over something else, which we don't really have room to do. Yo, Zorian, thank you so much for 118 months, two months away from that awesome decade indeed. Thank you. All right, I'd like to take the store now, but it's not our moment. All right, the ship has no med bay, no clone bay. I already see four points in drones as well. I think it's unlikely here they have anti-personnel drone, but just for my own safety, I'm going to hit weapons and doors before we board. Because level three doors can cause a catastrophe if you're not careful. Okay, doors are hit. Looks like system repair drone maybe is coming out. Kind of has to be if the drone's leaving there. They have two system repair drones? I think they did. Maybe. Get our shields back now. All right, chain ion cells. Yo, Varel, thanks for two months. Really appreciate that continued sub support. Cheers. Well, that's fantastic. Scrap has been very um, readily available in this sector. I'm going to buy level 2 backup battery. Okay, trying to run away, hitting our weapons, mind control. Fair. Yo, Gamma Squad, thanks for 133 months. How the time flies indeed. Thank you so much. set now. Oh, enemy FTL charging. I missed that part. Since we have hacking up, it'll be forever until they can repair that. Should be all good.
Okay, little missile launcher is definitely an annoyance here. So if we hit with a full weapon volley onto weapon, their weapons were fine. We'll do exactly that. All right, they boarded in teleporter. That's fair. Am I winning the fights here? I am definitely winning the fights here. Noise. Okay, fire's a burning. They're repairing it now. Okay, double kill there. Amazing. Should be all right with that then. Oh, it's two mantis. All right. I turned out to be a little bit scarier than I thought I was going to. All right, now we're cooking. So, small bomb is massively useful, but it's no heavy laser two, and heavy laser two gives us a weapon system that can actually function versus the flagship. We're going to have to spend a lot of money right now to figure it out, but uh, we'll get there. Give me uh, just one sec here. All right. I'm back. So how many projectiles do we have now? Three. We only have six projectiles. We have six projectiles for nine damage. 
Well, that's a lot of damage. We can overcome the lack of projectiles with our shield hack. Oh, wow. It's only Sector 5. I thought we were in Sector 6 right now. That's actually pretty cool. All right. Pulsar sounds dangerous because it is. Let's buy three power bars right now. So we're going into the Pulsar. At a good timing here. Mm. I'll protect this way. Okay, black two, laser stuff. We're just gonna begin this with a shield hack. We're gonna hit weapons for everything they're worth, then we can board afterwards. But the weapons have to drop down here. I guess we're good to board now. It caused a pretty significant disruption. Oh, I took damage there. That was my fault, too. As it always is. There we go. Before we jump away in the Ion Storm, we want to make sure we're completely free of Ion damage, which happened really quickly here. That's fortunate. Okay, so the exit was not fast. It might actually be best right now if we're going to dive to take the exit, then go here. Let's take the exit. The stress isn't guaranteed to be anything. The exit's guaranteed to be good or neutral. And there's a lot of uh, very good events, like, I don't know, a free chain Vulcan? Okay. To be honest, I'm probably selling that bad boy, but pretty cool, man. Pretty cool, man. Yeah, let's go for it. Trying to remember if this one can even be a three crew. I think this one in particular can. If I need to, I will hack doors. Okay, they do have a manus, which is concerning. Oh, it was only two. Okay, cool. Yo, Spiritual Prophet, thanks for 104 months. Enjoy that continued lurk. Thank you, thank you. All right, I'm just going to go additional engine here. We're going to kind of spin the scrap as it comes in. This lets us get to a better dive possibility. Well, I'm just going to say it. This sector was great.
I got it under the ASB as well. Awesome. Zoltan Homeworld. Interesting, but also a little bit terrifying because Zoltan shields are not something this build deals with great. Had worse Zoltan shield uh, fighting setups, but toughy. This event right here, the potential Zoltan uh, ship inside the uh, the Pulsar, is one of the more dangerous events in all of FTL. Even having said that, I think I'm going for it. All right, this shouldn't be too bad. to see how many crew they got. Okay, the guy went off piloting, so it's only two crew. Good. I'm gonna let him run to the med bay here. Level three med bay then. All right. Well, this missile is a consequence of my hubris. All right, 80 scrap. I think I'm going to take three hack here, because three hack is just layer of safety. All right, let's hope for the best on this event right here. Okay, well, for starters, it's not a Zoltan ship. That's great. Fire started in there, otherwise they wouldn't have left the room. Yo, bars the fully trained shield Zoltan. Yes. Big find right there. Going from five to six crew is definitely a good moment for us. Also, man's our final unmanned system. Okay, we're waiting to be free of ion damage, then we're jumping away. Not quite yet. Oof, four, four ion on the shields. It's okay, we'll wait it out. <laughs> and again.
Okay, the ship can't hit us. We're going to open with the cloak, though, because the beams could before our shield comes up. It's a really uh, awkward enemy ship. No hacking part required. I'm thankful for that. Boom, boom, boom. I bet S'more would love butter. I bet he would. I bet he would. Looks like a bit of a butter bean, just saying. Okay, I'm going to buy level 2 piloting now, because I, I no longer want to risk a crew. We already lost one crew to a possible uh, Ion Storm event. Let's not make it, let's not make it two crew here. Secure the fuel supply. All right. So they only have three lasers in the weapon. That's um, fortunate. Let's do an opening volley here and just see what happens. Definitely open to boarding this ship, but not in its current state. Okay. a lot of HP on their ship. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, since they have no med bay or clone bay, we're just going to slow roll this. Probably did... 300 HP damage or so. Yeah, they now loaded up a beam drone, which is honestly a concern. Okay, backup batteries back up. I gotta believe we finish off this fight like this. Okay, let's go here. Let's go backup battery. Cloaking, shield, teleporter. All right. Weird fight, man. Weird fight. Well, we definitely aren't scheduling. Just uh, don't, don't have much dairy in the house these days. Nothing superhuman about it. Prepare to fight. Well, I think with backup battery and just a good volley to weapons, we're good here. That'll definitely do it. Just freeing up that power for when the backup battery falls off. Boom, boom, boom. 
Oh, hey, let's also rename bars here. To the Great Rain, who is here today. One, two, three, four, five before the exit. Not really a great dive here, so I'll probably just shoot for the five. One, two, three, four, five, sure. I want to spend some scrap, but at the moment that we're in the Ion Storm, it's a hard time to evaluate what our powers actually is, so we're going to hop out. It's unlikely we get a, a crew kill here, so we have to disable the missile launcher, and we have to kill them. They have very weak hull. So I'm just going to fire out at the weapons and see what happens. If it doesn't work, I'll, I'll hack. Should be fine. Really hoping that was going to happen. And now that I'm looking at it, there's no med bay or clone bay, so I have a lot of incentive just to. Uh, to board them. And there's crew damage that happened because of that fire. So we're looking awesome right now. We're just going to board into this uh, shield room. Easy and unexpected kill. Okay. All right, Vulcan's out. So, Halber Beam is desirable, but I think right now we don't take the Halber Beam because we already have a pretty fast firing nine damage laser volley. And it'd be kind of expensive to bring this in unless I just drop the heavy laser two for it, which I don't think is that big of an upgrade if an upgrade at all. I would much rather have ship upgrades than I would weapon upgrades at this moment here in Sector 6. It's actually pretty tough to replace anything in this setup. So you'd have to buy halberds and spend 190 to replace the heavy laser, which would be better, but it'd still be around the same amount of volleys. Yo, absolute legend. Heals things for 141 months of Lurk. 141. Leo Farah, thanks for a 39 as well. What a day. I'm gonna buy four shields, two power bars. Easy. It's a really annoying ship to crew kill, so I'm not gonna. I am gonna pilot hack here, though. Okay, they're indoors again.
Nah, not good enough, bud. Close, though. Close. Yo, anti-solar flare. Thanks for 73 months of support. OG the live stream right there. Big time. There's no medbay or clone bay on this NG ship. That's a little peculiar for this uh, late juncture, but I accept. I'll eat him up. Only three crew on that ship, too. What a weird one. Those guys were all right, and tasty, too. Alright, the next, if we see a store in Sector 7, I'm going to end up purchasing uh, some drone parts, it looks like. So really, it's seven drone parts, that's not, not actually that low. Start worrying at like two or three drone parts, as most fights, or at least probably over half of the fights, you're going to get a drone part back as your reward. Investigate here, nothing, fine. Manus controlled or slug home nebula. I'm gonna go Manus control. Sector 7 slug ships are a tough one to say the least. Okay, not out of the question to get a kill here. A good spot for them to board. Okay, I goofed on that. At least they're dead. Should pull them both out of the shield room, if I'm not mistaken. It did. All right, Jill, the engine trained fighting human. Great unit, that is. Gonna let us shuffle around here and have the NG be more of a roaming repair. Okay, here we go.
Okay, let's put NG on doors. We'll put the human here. We're going to rename the human as well to Doomrick. That's the one. Attempt to download here. Ooh, map reveal. It's cool. Would be nice to hit the store on the way out just to sell off our goods. So how many to this jump here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine jumps. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I should include one more in that. But we are skipping over a jump here, so that's not true. How many to this one? Three, six, seven. This has to be eight. Is that right? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine here. Other option would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, I kind of like that because we get the immediate uh, value here. Maybe we'll cut the sun jump and take this here so we can include that jump in our estimation too. Yo, walking wall. Thanks for 28 months. Enjoy your continued lurk, man. Legend. All right, let's attack the ship. I'm gonna try to blast weapons here. See what happens. Okay, they boarded into teleporter. Ooh, I think I actually killed two there, if I'm not mistaken. We've got Breach now, so now if we can hit Med Bay and board over there, we should be alright. Okay, so somebody's in the Med Bay now. All right, it's just the two, so we got ourselves a crew kill here. It's going to swap real quick to ensure the uh, combat success. Ooh. Keep starting this fight, saying, oh, I don't need to get a crew kill here, and then it just kind of... Well, it works out. Six engines, power bar. A double missile launcher's a bit rude. Mantis aggressor. Is it really only two crew? Must be. I guess they only have two square teleporter, yes. For some reason, I felt like the aggressor was tied to the boarding event, but I apparently was wrong about that. 
Not the first time I've been wrong, and certainly won't be the last. Okay, we just got some mega breach going on in there. That was nice. This looks like it might be a crew kill as well. That's unexpected. Okay. It's like fire in there. Perhaps. I'm gonna board here now. Honestly, couldn't have gone much better than that. Yo, Azulthorn, thanks for 40 months. Appreciate that 4-0. Thanks, dude. Yeah, it's by value oxygen, value cloaking, value doors, sure. Value weapon. That's a good one. Value weapon's probably the most important. When I say value, it's a point that is unutilized, but is there for defensive purposes. What's really making all these crew kills possible is the breach chance on these heavy missiles. It's slaying. All that hit, that's unfortunate, but fair. I don't disagree. Hmm. With that big of a hit to medbay, I kind of want to board over. Yeah, I can always retreat into the piloting room for safety if I need to. Should maybe I do that now and pull him over? There we go. Huh. Did not go how I thought I was going to. Can I break in here and kill them, though? Why did I do it like that? What else we got here? Too much. That got weird pretty fast. Almost like this game's hard or something. Are they going for doors or are they indoors already? Going for doors. Good, we got a breach there as well. We may be able to hit these guys in the med bay when they board back. Ooh, if we don't get a kill right there. Okay, we hit. And that this guy's leaving tells me there's probably a fire in that room. Didn't turn this on, okay. That's Q. Where are they on my ship right now? They're inside my engine room. True.
Yo, Horns Fan 01, thanks so much for 32 months. Thanks so much for that continuation. Yo, Freeze914 hitting that 10 years, 120 months. My man, what a legend. That's a big one. Long time lurker indeed, Freeze. You just proved it, man. You just proved it. I will gladly sell 15 for 45 here. Pulsar is um concerning. Not necessarily bad, but you know, scary. Okay, double drone is uh, quite serious. It's to be respected. Could actually mess us up here. It probably won't, but we gotta we gotta recognize that this combination can take down four shields. And we're in a pulsar, which is just wow. So disabling the drones is much more important than disabling the missile launcher in this case. Not worrying about boarding here, just going for uh, the the straight up disable. Yo, gold chain, gold shirt. Thanks for ninety seven months. Thank you. Charge ions out. We're going to repair here. Uh, let's repair one more than I meant to, and that's fine. Let's go ahead and uh, repair to 23 just for safety's sake. And let's also buy a couple drone parts for safety's sake. There's really not too much left for us to buy as far as upgrades go. Some things, but it's pretty minimal right now. The reason is some minerals have a very cheap weapon system, so it's a lot left over for other stuff. the ship here yeah we'll hack and just go for weapon disable
All right, here we go. Is dive time. Let's buy our eighth engine before we dive. Where are they? They're in hacking. And they're in my med bay. All right, here in Sector 8, before we head into uh, this final fight, it's going to take a short break and a stand up stretch my legs. I encourage you to do the same. We'll be back in just a couple minutes. Also, our ads are about to play. Flip this play. Thanks so much. Does support a lot. If not, totally understand. Uh, does support a lot. Regardless, uh, we'll be back in just a couple minutes for uh, some more FTL action. Get my crew set up here, and then I'll stand up. And we'll head towards the flagship fight, which I think we have a pretty good chance on here. It's been a fun run. Like most Manus A runs, it had a little bit of trouble getting going, and then uh, once it got over that little hurdle, um, we're feeling pretty good. A lot of dynamic decision making on this run, though. Okay, be right back.
All right, we're back and we're headed into Sector 8 towards the flagship fight. Let's take a look at our map here. Yeah, it's not it's not great. There's not really repair stations available. So, um, and our only connector here is through a dive jump. Luckily, we have eight engines here and three hacking, so we can ensure that we safely get past those. Let's just move forward and hope for the best. Definitely a very weird uh, Sector 8. Oh, one moment. I gotta grab some. All right, we get. Also, a little unfortunate. No repair stations here. Well, luckily, we're in the we're in the the good zone for drone parts. Though lower than we'd prefer. Alright, I'm gonna jump away from this ship. This ship in its current state can definitely damage us. And if we hack shields, may we get the weapons down? Maybe we don't. So instead of wondering if it happens or if it doesn't, we're just going to hack weapons, load up our engines, and run away from this. Okay, let's wait. Oh, they hacked my hacking? Oh boy. This will still be fine with eight engines and uh, cloak. Albeit barely. Okay, now we got to dive. Same plan here. Our job is to run. Made it to the base in time. Good. Get our ship stabilized up and then uh, get to it. Debating strategies right now versus the flagship. It kind of has to be shield hack with our current setup, which is uh, dangerous, but fair. Hit shields, then hit missile launcher, and then they're dead. And there's no way with only six projectiles we can get away with anything that's not a shield hack. Has to be. 
All right, I'm gonna jump into them. I want to jump into the base phase two. Or fight them at the base on phase two. So it's our chance to do so. Where's the hack land? Hack lands on. Okay. Piloting hack isn't awesome, but it could be much, much worse. Get a breach, but no, no fire. Mm. Three hits there. Ouch. That's better. He's dead. Okay, missile launcher's down good. Let's try to hit the cloaking here, too. Nice. Okay, it's a lot more damage than our preference, but overall a pretty good phase. Yo, DC100, thank you for 122 consecutive months. That's more than 10 years of subbing. Thank you so much, DC100. Been a very legendary day for subs and resubs. Thank you all for that amazing long-term support. This content is still here thanks to lovely people like yourselves. Sorry for punching the mic. My bad. My bad. We are again locked into a shield hack here. It's gonna be a very tough angle to dodge this. In fact, I need to just wait a second. Okay, where's it at? It's inner hacking, huh? That's actually pretty okay. That's good. Okay, if I remember right, if I cloak here at the first set of missiles, we should get past the drone phase, too. Maybe. This might have been requiring a level 3 cloak. Yeah, let's still we dodged most of it. Come on, get him, get him. Get those kills. Oh, they broke out? That's tough. Okay, we got some kills there.
We'll just buy one more power bar. So if anything goes wrong here, we're leaving ourselves the base to jump back to. So this is the uh, the best way to go for phase three, in my opinion. This phase is going to have boarding and mind control. And I'd say we're actually kind of weak to this phase, uh, mind control wise. A man is getting mind control is always a little bit annoying. Let's put uh, this guy here in a room that has two power. And let's put this guy here, too. Okay. So they're trying to go for the shield room right now. Shouldn't have cloaked that. Okay, we did break through though, which is really nice. Oh, we got down a shield too. Yikes. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to jump back to the base. The start wasn't bad, but we are moving four crew this way and um, allowing the shield to go down like that, I don't think was uh, awesome. So this is four less crew to deal with on the next attempt for that phase. We'll see how it goes. Yep, mind control is random here. That's right. And yes, we have played uh, No Pause FTL before. To my knowledge, I am the progenitor of the No Pause uh, streaming challenge. In about three and a half sets, so it's not a format I'm interested in anymore. I definitely prefer pause play. Let's break these up again for mind control reasons. And now we wait. That's a really good mind control. The engineer will not break all the way through both bars on the doors. It'll get like one and three quarters of the way through. So this is essentially a free mind control. Don't have to do anything except for let him repair when he's done, have his little tantrum. Ooh, misses. That's fine. Oh, he did get through both. I was mistaken. Good job, little Inji. You did great, bud. Triple fire there is pristine. No cloaking's a little bit rough, but whatever. Should be good. A good mind control target.
GG. That was a very fun run. Yo, Tony B93, thanks for 60 months. Five years and climbing. Mm -mm -mm. I think we're like 60, 6300, 6350. Could be a lot higher, actually. The reason it could be higher is we got uh, long range scanners at the start of Sector 2, and then we picked up mm, one Nebula. We had that very advantageous civilian sector with all the Nebulas, too. Check it out. 59.32, that's lower than I thought. Why was it low? Just because it was. Low beacons explored is the main reason. And your score is a combination of ships defeated, beacons explored, and scrap collected. There it is. All right, that was a very fun run for uh, a fun day of stream. Awesome to be here on this Friday. We'll be at it again uh, tomorrow and sun Sunday through the weekend. One moment. We'll definitely be back uh, tomorrow and Sunday. Not sure about next week. I'll keep you guys updated on Discord. I'll be hosting uh, Billy One Kirby today. He's doing Next Fest demos all week. He's been doing like 12 hour streams, Next Fest demos. Uh, checked out a ton of demos uh, via his stream. Also played chess with Billy uh, usually about once a week. I think you guys will enjoy his content a lot. There's a lot of voices. He has a cute cat named Kiki and a lot of other good stuff too. Oh, hand emotes. Don't forget that. I'm going to start the raid right now. Uh, feel free to hop on in there if you want. Uh, just thank you all again for an amazing stream. I uh, really appreciate uh, your questions, comments, conversation. All right, buddy. Catch you on the flip side. Looking forward to it. All right, keep it dapper and be good to each other. Enjoy uh, Billy Kirby. <laughs>